Nicholas George. How are you doing? Whew. I have new hair today, in case you've been here before, when I very much did not have green hair. <laughs> We're gonna play some Resident Evil Village, talk about life, drink body armor. <laughs> I'm dehydrated. Bruce R. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. One second. <laughs> Someone played. Yeah, uh, it's pretty fun, Nicholas George. I love all the animation. The Haunted Mansion, I haven't gotten out of it yet, but I've watched other people play, and um, it's... It's just everything you would want in, like, a scary uh, or a haunted house type thing. Thanks! I did it myself. Um, I'm getting really good at thumbnails. I just love photo editing, so it's, you know, I'm liking it. It's fun. I like giving myself fake blood all over my face. <laughs> Thanks! It's uh, not my hair. But it's fun to be, like, black hair again, black green hair. I used to have black hair for, like, three years, so. R.E.S., I need to work on mine. Uh, I use a program that you can download for free called Sai. It's S-A-I. Um, it's really helpful. Hey, Rose, how are you doing? No girl gone goth. I've always been a secret goth deep down. <laughs> to my parents' dismay. <laughs> They've always been like, why do you want to paint your nails black? Why do you want to paint your walls dark colors? <laughs> Ooh, this hair is so silky. I wish my hair was this silky because that'd be nice. But it's fried. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the game. Do you guys got anything crazy going on in your lives? She's a vamp. <laughs> I do have uh, vampire teeth that you like stick on with like fix a dent. <laughs> Would a vampire have nails like these though? Let's be honest. <laughs> I know nothing about Photoshop or video editing. Nicholas George, it's not. It's not necessarily for professionals. Like, you just get in there, and if you have any artistic ability whatsoever, you can do some pretty fun stuff. Vampirella. Um, you know those, uh, what was they called? Monster High dolls? When my hair was black, my skin is pink, and so my dad got a hold of one of those uh, Vampirella, I think her name was, dolls, and he has it in his bedroom, and he keeps it in there because he thinks it looks exactly like me. <laughs> And she has, like, a little heart right where I have my dermal, so. Lady D can grow her nails, so can she. <laughs> Lady P here. Pillsbury. Lady Pillsbury, if you please. <laughs> my dad's cute. He's real sweet. Yee. All right, all right. I'm excited. I haven't played this game with a controller yet, so I want to do that because I feel like it'll be fun. Like, more fun. <laughs> we'll see. But I gotta plug it in first because I'm never prepared. No, I'm never prepared for anything ever. Rockin' and rollin'. Hey, it's the Ballard. Hello, Ballard. Hey, Ballard, have you seen my hair yet? Do you like it? It's all brand new. Joseph, are you curious about why you chose your YouTube name? Um, so I was trying to come up with a name just to chat in Cody's, uh, or Camelot 331's chats, and I noticed in my picture that I had that I was just like very white skin, very white hair. So I was like, all right, uh, Pillsbury Doe Ho, I guess. <laughs> it uh, really wasn't a really wasn't a thoughtful, thoughtful thing. It just 
kind of happened. Heidi ho. What have I just rolled up on? Nesbitt, you are not prepared for this. <laughs> just kidding, it's nothing interesting. <laughs> nothing at all. I'm surprised you're jumping between the Resident Evil and RE1. I like to shake it up, like, I really wanted to finish Resident Evil Village, but Cody suggested I do RE1, so I was like, okay, I'll do that, but then I've just been feeling like playing Village, so... Hey, it's the Bearded Beauty Ballard. <laughs> yes, the Bearded Beauty Ballard. Like the hair, how's Mr. Loki? He's good. He's been running around chasing my roommate's dog all day. <laughs> he does this thing where she gets the zoomies and starts to, like, do this and then dart and he chases her <laughs> and it gets a little scary because the thing is we don't know if he's gonna bite her when he catches her so <laughs> we are not ready for her jelly <laughs> oh man yeah I'm all unprepared I got my controller hooked up finally now I'm gonna change my game capture to capture the right thing and we'll be set we'll be set Yee, village, okay. Bah! Magic. Magic. Alright. It's one of these casual ones, I know. Nothing wrong with being pasty. I know, at least I won't have, like, skin cancer or wrinkles when I get older. I mean, I probably still will, but... <laughs> Maybe less. Hi, John Morris. How are you doing? Do you have anything interesting going on in your life? Boo -doo 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 -doo. Looks like our desktop audio is rather low. Let's turn it up just a little bit. That's probably good. Yep. Good, good. What has happened to the game capture? Why is it doing this? Hmm. I don't like that. Let's try it again. All right. Magic. There we go. All right, we got. We don't have it fixed. Why is it doing that? It's doing this weird thing where like it's kind of down here for some reason. Everything is going to shit. Everything is terrible. Just drag it and make it smaller. I can't. <laughs> it doesn't want to be smaller. Oh my lord. What is happening? This is the trouble part of the stream. The troubleshoot party part of the stream. Where is Ro Where is Robert? We need Robert. Richard. We need Richard. You literally can. No, I literally can't. I can't do it. It won't let me. There we go. It kept letting me like click the wrong one for some reason. Like it would not let me select that one. We got it. It's going good. Fudge, it grabbed the other one again. Oh no. All right, there we go. They're like overlays where you have like multiple, so like if if you if one is in the way of the other, you can't grab it. <clears throat> but we got it. Bruce R, my day was it was okay. It was all right. I had to work today, but it wasn't a bad work day. It was a nice work day. Joseph V, do you know the story of RE7? If not, you may want to brush up on it 
or the ending of this may not make much sense. Yeah, um, someone was telling me a little bit about it. I do need to play RE7 though. I probably should have played it before this one, but we're in so deep now. We're in so deep. Joseph B. Even when everything is working, I feel like she should pretend it doesn't and keep the troubleshooting stuff part of her stream. There will always be something that doesn't work. That's the thing. We don't even have to pretend. There will always be something that isn't going to work because that's life. That's just life. Sometimes things don't work. I know this at work because at work there is literally always something that goes technologically wrong. And theoretically, since they're spending millions of dollars on, like, hiring all of us, you would think they would have all their technology stuff down. Like, their servers and whatnot. But they don't. Alright. Hmm. When was the last time I played this? Definitely this one. Definitely this one. So, judging by the stream title, you'll be getting in... Getting the D in this video. <laughs> Lady Jim Dim 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 Yeah. Lady Dimitresk. I don't know why, like I've heard that name a bunch, but like when it comes time to say it, it's like, mm mm, nope. <laughs> We're not saying it. It might not have worked, but it does now. True true. True true. I feel like I missed something out here, that's why I'm coming back, because I was looking at a guide a while back, and it suggested that I was supposed to come all the way out here somewhere. Okay. I did, John Smith. I changed my hair. It is green. It is forest green. Well, Village versus First Resident Evil is such a big difference. Literally jumping from the last game to the first. I know. Yeah. That's pretty much how I do things in life, unfortunately. Like, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but, uh, just from first to last. No in between. Sniper rifle ammo. Turn bonies on. Ah! They are on. Something is wrong. There we go. All these overlays. I just got them all bobbled. Is this one? Alright, I think we're good. Boop, boop. Alright, we're supposed to go break this urn over here. I think it's literally just for money, so we probably could skip this. Handgun ammo. Yeah, I didn't go this way before. Maybe this is what we were missing. For anybody who wasn't here last time, oh, butts. Um, I was wandering around aimlessly for quite, quite, quite a while. I didn't mean to do that. I'm playing with a controller for the first time, and I haven't figured out the controls yet. Bands will make her dance. <laughs> Bands will make her dance. Handgun ammo. I gotta figure out the controls again since I am playing with a. That's not what I wanted. Oh god, oh god. What the fuck? Something terrible is happening, guys. It's just terrible. Okay, there we go. These things are so annoying. They're just like seagulls. Ah, God! I'm like, please. I don't have any breadcrumbs for you. I don't have any french fries. I don't know what you want from me. Cody, you need to be racing, always racing. <laughs> yeah, why aren't you racing right now? Eh? 
I have made bad decisions coming here. I have made horrible decisions. I am running. I am running now. I should have waited until I like got them all to come over. That way I could like safely go on the roof, but no. No, I would never do that, would I? If I wasn't playing on easy mode, I'd been in dead like five minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Hey, just shoot them. I'm shooting them. I'm just shooting them. I got them. They're dead. They're real dead now. They're like, they're so dead they're not even here anymore. They're just gone. It's kind of weird. Explorer. Light jog with gigantic flying animals, a romantic night out. Right? Let's see what my health is at. It looks like I'm fine, miraculously. That is the power. That is the power of playing on easy mode. You can be real bad at video games and still do okay. Yeah, I don't remember these stairs. This is the way. This is the way. Light jog, light jog, gigantic animals, all the romance. I swear to God, this is just where I came from. I'll be so upset. Hey. Also, I'm used to playing with PlayStation controllers, so now I have an Xbox One and like the A and the B are backwards. I'm like, what is happening? I like walks on the beach, classic rock, exploring rooftops with death bats. Death bats. Floor 20. Thank you, Cody. Thank you for the bones. My top bony boy of the night. The week's top bony boy is still Mixan Man, of course. And my all time bone daddy is Frank McCormick. Frank McCormick. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this little Madougal thing over here. Yep, okay. We're gonna be swinging, aren't we? I don't really. I don't know about this. Okay, that's where I'm gonna find a mask, huh? Mask of Ridge. Oh, shit. They're just like behind me and I'm just ignoring them. Stop it! Gross. Try to put your tongue on my throat. That was like my first boyfriend ever. No, I'm reloading. There we go. I hear another one. I don't see another one. Oh no. Oh no. Get back. Get away from me. I don't know you. Okay, that was easy. That was like literally just two shots and they were dead. Gotta say, doe girl, I wouldn't be very hesitant to eat any of your casseroles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I know, you know what? I don't even make good casseroles anyway, so it's fine. You wouldn't be missing out. <laughs> My story hasn't deterred you from any from anything good, so. <laughs> I do make good chicken and dumplings, though. I could put those in a casserole dish. It's kind of like a casserole. Kind of. Alright, so we got this mask. How many masks do we have? Mask of Rage, Mask of Joy, Mask of Sorrow. So we are still missing one mask. Alright. Ooh, should we go down these spooky stairs? I think we should. As long as it isn't brown. Everything I make is always brown because I burn it every time. <laughs> By the way, those gargoyles are women, so that makes it a hot. <laughs> oh, so it's like hot when there's like women have like 10 feet long tongues. 
I feel like, I don't know, that's just a little much. But you know what, I'm not a guy. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are into. <laughs> I'll take any food that tastes good. Poop is inevitable. <laughs> you know what? Ever since Cody's Subway video where he talked about the lady having poop on her on her hands, you know, and making making sandwiches, you know, you, you really wonder how often in your life you've eaten poop. Does it make eating poop any better? Does it make it any less disgusting? I don't I don't know. I mean maybe. Maybe. Ten feet long outer labia. Char is extra flavor. Oh no, do you like your like Hamburgers and hot dogs and steaks well done. I can't excuse such behavior. I can't do it. Why do I feel like I've been here before? <laughs> Have I been here? I've been here before. No. No. I'm getting so much money. I like money. I can buy all the bullets. All the bullets. If a turd tastes like a meatball sub, then I'm all about it. <laughs> meatball. <laughs> the next family I meet up will be called the Meatball 2021. <laughs> meatball. <laughs> Can't taste any worse than fight milk. How did I get back over here? Is this like another one or is this the same one? I don't know what's happening anymore. Everything is weird. <laughs> Yep, been here. Alright, maybe we should look at a map finally. I just never want to. Just gotta be a different button for map. Alright, I should probably figure out the controls, but I just- there we go. Ha ha! Alright, finally. I used to live in the same city as Subway headquarters and I still refuse to give them my money. Mix Sandman! What's up, man? Home slices. Richard, what's up, Sandman? I haven't had lunch yet. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Frank McCormick, what the heck? Oh, wait, are you, like, in Australia, too, like Rose? That would make sense. If you haven't had lunch yet and it's 8.20 your time, I'm a little worried for you. <laughs> you should have all the faces by now. Yeah, I think you go more on the... You go more of the roof. I don't have all the faces yet. I only have three. So... I'm trying to figure out, like, the buttons, since I'm using the controller now. But I don't see a button for map. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, I just figured it out on my own. All on my own. No, Utah? Okay, yeah. I know some people from Utah. They're Mormon. They're friends. Alright. No, go down there. Go down there. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> you put one on, remember? Wait, what? You put one on? Alright, so I have, like, three of the masks. Oh, yeah, I put one in the main room. You're so right. It's been so long since I played this. I don't really remember. Yep, y'all drop the thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Eli Clark. I live in Utah, not Mormon. <laughs> it's like one of those things you really have to specify if you live in Utah because most people there are Mormon. Who needs to know controls when you can figure it out on your own, right? Apparently I had to. They didn't even label map for me. I was just like, mm, try this one. <laughs> Go down the stairs, jumps towards death. <laughs> Here's the main hallway. It's this way, right? Ah, oh, fudge monkeys. I could have sworn that was the main. This is the first hallway, that's right. We go this way to get into the main hallway. God Stop dang it! You no! Please. Oh, I read about this. You're not supposed to go this way because you know she's coming. No, please! No, please, she scares me. <laughs> I don't know why I get so scared of her. 
I've been cut by her like 45 million times, but... Josephine, I'm not Mormon either. I got transported here. <laughs> Transpotted. You've been transpotted into Utah. <laughs> I like that term better for people that change homes. Richard is a good stream for chillin'. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, hey, I love the hair. Thanks, Selena Dansfield. It's green. It's very, very green. Fudge monkeys. All the fudge monkeys. All the little baby fudge monkeys. I'm trying to get another gig out of Utah. <laughs> what brought you to Utah to start with? I mean, it's a cool place, all on its own, really, but... Thanks, McSandman. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks really cool. I'm excited. Goth Girl Summer. You've seen all the memes. It's happening. We're doing it. Guess I'm going all the way around inside the castle to get there, since she's just, like, chilling in that one room, just freaking waiting for me. Please don't come get me. I don't want you to get me. I feel like it's this way, but I'm also quite confused that it's not this way. Nope. 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 It's not this way. I don't remember. Oh, this is the balcony, right? Yeah. She's gonna come get me and I'm gonna start screaming. You guys better be ready. I'm gonna scream. I won't last until dinner. God damn, I thought I killed them all. I could have sworn I killed them all. Run! Mother! Mother! Run! Why am I going so slow? I'm going so terribly slow. Maybe she'll leave me alone in a minute and I can just put my masks on all willy nilly. You will learn what it means to insult her stomach fresh. Can I just put these on and she'll leave me alone? Oh, yep. God, no! Jeez. Okay, she won't just let me put them on, that's right. Okay, I've, I've realized this now. Ooh, I should've saved before I started this. Oh god, my bubble is clenching too. I'm so scared. Oh, there's a run button, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know which one it is because I can't read. <laughs> Full body tattoos. I am trying to get more tattoos. I've got quite a few, but I haven't got my hip one that I've been wanting for a while. Fucking slice my head off on me. <laughs> Bro, I've been saying poop casserole randomly for two days. Pretty sure it's just part of my vocabulary now. <laughs> One of my favorites from that video was poop soup. <laughs> I, <laughs> poop soup, I don't know. It's, it's funny. <laughs> There's a run button. I'll find it. Snitches get snitches. Run to Duke. Yeah, I should run to Duke and save. I'm gonna do that. Save's not required. We don't need them where we are going. <laughs> Check your Twitter DM. Cam Camelot. Cody. 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 Check your Twitter DM. <laughs> she didn't learn from RE1. No, I didn't. I didn't, apparently. I'm just not real smart. I don't know. No, please. You can't come in here, right? Please tell me you can't come in here. Okay. We're gonna save. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna die again, so... Poop soup is good to you. <laughs> Camelot, do I need to get the Instagram for Intel in September? Meatballs. All right, let's see how my health's doing. Ooh, that's not good. First aid, none. Wait, I can make these, yeah. All right. Let's use this before I die. Before I kill myself. Meat stew looking kind of like poop soup. <laughs> there is a place at the top of the main hall where you use Dimitres key or whatever. What? 
What do you mean? I've got all the masks. I'm gonna get out, right? <laughs> Thanks for getting Cody's attention for me. You're welcome! Then go through the fireplace. Yeah, you have to escape downstairs. That's right. I remember now. Let's see what I'm doing on ammo. <clears throat> oh, not good. Let's buy some. Shall I choose something for you? No, thank you. Have you guys ever seen Young Frankenstein? Do you know that scene where the housekeeper is asking him if he'd like anything before bed? And she keeps asking him and he's just like, no, thank you. Would you like a sandwich? No, I'm fine, thank you. And then she just goes, a lot in. <laughs> and I'm just, I just, I hear that in my head almost daily. I don't know what's wrong with me supplies. I just, I just want bullets. I don't know what's happening. Are none of these, are, yep, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we're good. Maybe no more. Thank you for your patronage. Should be a way to reload. X is reload. Cool, I learned I learned a thing. Now let's see if we can learn to run. That's not running. That's aiming. Do be careful not to waste your ammunition. That's not running. That's not running. That's not running. Okay, there's no running. You're wrong. There's a place. Then you go through the fireplace. You have three out of five. Three out of four. No, I have all of them because I accidentally forgot that I dropped one off and put it on last time I played. Cody the Ultimate Guide, Phil, free of charge. <laughs> Actually, he's paying you. He is paying me. He is a guide and he has paid me. <laughs> Pull up controls. Oh, you mean like, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, Ryan is holding the joystick down. I should have guessed that. Yeah. Me, 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 me. She's going to be waiting out there for me, isn't she? I'm like, please, please stop. I put one on though. You mean on this thing? I mean, I have two here on the quest marker. What's the quest marker? I don't know. I'm wasting time. I could have looked at the back of these first, but you know what? Oh, you know what? You're definitely right because I don't have one that fits on this. Like, these don't fit on this one. She's gonna come any second. I'm just like trying so hard right now. Yeah, so I have three out of four. You're right. So. You said you have to kill the last daughter before you find the last one. So you said I need to top of the main hall or use the Dimitrescu key or whatever. Then go through the fireplace. RIS when you think you have all the pieces and you're missing one. I know it's so disappointing. No, please. I'm so scared. <laughs> Why is she doing this to me? Make her stop. I'm gonna come over here, and then when she comes over here, I'm gonna go around and go upstairs. Oh, she stopped following me. Naturally. Stop just checking in during my lunch. Hello, Holy Ozone. How are you? Yes, come down the stairs. Oh, little arms. <laughs> me. Me. All 
Alright, you said the top of the stairs. Where am I going? This way? I got that one already. I went through here. What am I missing? Somebody help me. Yell at me. Trying to work up my appetite, are you? Running. <laughs> Running. Trapped in this fucking like little like bullshit place. Please stop. No. Eternally beautiful, just like Mother Miranda. No. No. You're finished. Please leave me be. Ah. All right, I'm gonna go back to back to our friend the Duke, and I'm gonna get healing stuff. Welcome. Use the juice. Yeah, I'm using the juice. Um, where do I go upstairs? Um, because I'm having issues about that. Please come again. I don't know where to go. I've been everywhere, I feel like. I just probably forgot to grab a fucking mask somewhere. There was probably some, like, random place that I saw the statue and then just didn't grab the mask. I'm, like, 10 out of 10 pretty sure that's what happened. No. I just don't know where to go. Now you are finished, Ethan Winters. Oh fuck, I'm in her bedroom. This is not the place to be. She gonna come in here and she gonna scratch me. Alright, quick, you guys, tell me. Tell me where to go. This is why in real life I've mastered all types of puzzles, so when zombie apocalypse has come, all your <laughs> Yeah, Yes, so when, when the zombie apocalypse happens and you have to find all four masks to to open a door, uh, because that'll happen, you'll be you'll be able to. And y it'll be fine. <laughs> second floor main hall. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to the second floor main hall, but uh <laughs> The Lady Dimitrescu just keeps coming up there trying to kill me. No, bitch. No, bitch. Please. No, please. I can't even dodge her because she, like, taps me in this hallway. And I can't get around her. I can't get around her. Oh, my God. This big, fat bitch with her big old hips. Like, I cannot evade her. Just come in here. Just come in here. Come in here. Chase me around this table so I can leave. Yes, thank you. Big ol' bitch taking up the entire freaking hallway. Use key success and dies immediately. Second floor, main hall. Alright, we're going second floor, main hall. Second floor, main hall, we're here. Alright, now what? I need a Cody app, yeah. This big fat Play with bitch. Me some more. No. Okay, what am I doing? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what I'm doing. Tell me. Quick, 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 quick. You sound jealous of Lady D's hips. Uh, no. Unfortunately, I have size like 40 inch hips. Uh, I got big hips. I'm, my, my hips are bigger than hers, and I'm only five foot five. <laughs> Did I kill her here? I don't need 
gonna get caught in this hallway. She's coming. Oh, I knew it. God, this is all hallways this way. Fudgy monkeys. Fudgy monkeys. Oh, yep, okay, there we go. I found it. No thanks to Cody. Where the fuck? Where do I go? Oh, through the fireplace. That's right. How do I crouch? Fudge monkeys. Controls, tell me how to crouch. Tell me how to crouch. Crouch stand. Okay. God damn it! I don't know how to crouch. This is terrible. Oh, there we go. Alright, we got it. We got this. We're good. Oh, we got the last mask. Now we gotta go put this thing on there and we're out of here, out of this, out of this hell that is her chasing me everywhere. It scares me. It just scares me. There's a door you use a key on. Oh, I'm offing myself. <laughs> Tickled my funnies. <laughs> Mama D's nuts. That's not unfortunate. No one likes small heads. I'm worried my sisters have gotten sisters. <laughs> I hate when she does this. I just want to turn and face her, but she's everywhere. You can't turn and face someone that's everywhere. <laughs> but I think y'all delicious. Open that window. Open that window. That's not a window. God dang it. My blood is pumping. My blood is pumping. <laughs> I'm gonna be one of these girls for Halloween for sure. How's it feel? Could break it open with a powerful attack, like a shotgun, because I don't have anything else. Because I don't have nothing. <laughs> yeah, without the mat, without the green hair, even. Let's see what's on this table, cause ain't no way that what I have right now can kill that. I guess it's just a shotgun, I don't know. I'm gonna die in here. Okay, so the shotgun does nothing. I'm literally just wasting bullets. I don't know what to do. Can I construct? I can't construct any medicine. I'm fucked. I'm just utterly fucked. There's some to your right. You has a pipe. I don't have a pipe. I don't know what you're talking about. I have a pipe. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, but it's too late. I'm dead, probably. Yeah. <laughs> dead. Dead for sure. How do I use this? Use it. Okay, cool. I don't know how I managed to survive this, but I think I'm gonna die soon. She's gonna kill me. It's so close. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> that was rough. That was so rough. What game settings do you have the game on? Casual? Casual for sure, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. It would be no fun if I just died every five seconds. <laughs> I sent I seen it in your inventory. Did you dye your hair? I didn't. 
this is just a nice green wig that I got. Isn't it nice? It's fun. It's obviously a wig, but it's fun. And it looks fun. Someone give her some pipe. She ain't gonna be... <laughs> right, R.I.S.? <laughs> Filthy casual. Village of Shadows. Dude, Village of Shadows, I would last a half a second, maybe. If I was lucky. But I wouldn't be lucky. My health is low. And, uh, I can't make any medicine. So I gotta get down to the Duke before... Can I go this way? No. <laughs> I gotta get down to the Duke before Lady D gets me. Because if she gets me, we're just, we're fucked. We're fucked all the way. Alright, no, we're gonna, can we just, like, can we go over this? How do we get this out of the way? I need to go that way, I'm pretty sure. Like, 90% sure. What the shit is happening? Hey, there's a thing I need to get. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> derp. So I gotta go put this on something, right? I think I gotta go put it on a thing. Scrap metal. So I can make bullets. Story of my life. It's her natural hair color. <laughs> She's dead, but the mask is on the roof now. What? Mask isn't on the roof now. You almost got me. Village of Shadows. Story of my door is lightly blocked by junk. Finds most extreme alternative route. <laughs> I want a dank castle. Dude, me too. I have like always wanted like a crazy, ridiculous castle. Am I, not, am I supposed to put this, like, like the mounted head thing on something? That's what someone told me. <clears throat> oh, yes, finally. Finally, we have herb. We can make a medicine. We're not going to die, you guys. We can get to the save point before we die. <sighs> Cody will clean your dang castle. <laughs> if I can afford a dang castle, I can afford maids, so... It's kind of how I look at it. I can't even go back the way I came. Life is so hard. Life is just so very hard. Pretty sure. Yes, I knew it. Okay, I should be able to get out with these. I don't remember how to get out of here. I hope this is the right way. God damn it, no, please. Is she just over my ass? Like, she's like, nah, I don't really care anymore, or something. Get that. I don't want to waste bullets from this, though. No, we're fine. We're cool. Okay, my head legs of a French maid outfit. <laughs> The entire bloodline of all stomach trask is done in by the likes of you. I don't like this. Help me. Is there a table? I think there's a table in this room that I can run around. Animal version of Skelly. <laughs> it is. It is. Skelly's upside down today, guys. I don't know why. He was just feeling a little blue. I will clean my own dank castle. Strangely enough, you get your castle dank by not cleaning. <laughs> you killed her, kids. She is going to Mexico for tacos and tequila. 
Yeah, I mean, if I, yeah. <laughs> Kids definitely, kids and tacos in Mexico just definitely don't go hand in hand. I am playing WoW on another monitor and I thought I aggroed a boss because Lady D is yelling at you. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, why wouldn't she yell at me? She's going to come in this door and I'm going to be so scared. She didn't have to duck to get through it, I remember. Skelly got drunk and the world was upside down so he had to write it. Naturally. I guess she's just not gonna come in here. She's gonna wait till I go out there and she's gonna trap me with her fat ass. She's gonna trap me in like a corner. Please. Please. The I don't wanna do this. Blood of house I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do by this. The likes of you. I don't wanna do this. No. Please. Not many things I'd rather be trapped by than a fat ass. <laughs> just, just let her sit on you. Just like squish the air out of your lungs, the blood out of your heart. <laughs> you gotta run for it. I know. God, she's just right out there and tired of her. I'm so tired of her. <laughs> Tell her to go away. <laughs> she can't come in here, right? Death by Snoo Snoo. Futurama Man. That's a good episode. Only one left. I can't get it wrong this time. Now what happens? Do I get to leave? Alright, so we're out here. Are we about to fight some boss? I feel like we're gonna fight a boss. I need to get more bullets. More bullets first. We're gonna fight a boss, I know it. No fuck, get away from me. Please. <gasps> <laughs> she like tried so hard. <laughs> like I was going in the door and I just heard like <sighs> behind me. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. Some people pay for that. <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo. No, 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 pee. <laughs> Watch out behind you. Oh, snap, it's the gorgeous horror queen Pillsbury. Thanks, Robert Jones. I have green hair now. It's green. Like green hair would be if it was green. Pillsbury Snoo Snoo is the only way I'd want to go as long as it's in a dark castle. Snoo Snoo in a dark castle. Fair. What is this? I can't decide if this is the right bullets for that thing. I don't know what that- I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a patent so I can make bullets. That's right. Okay. I'd rather just buy them. Can I not just buy them? Shotgun shells. Is that what I need? I think that's yes, right. Yes, I can see why you'd be interested in that. Alright, let's see what we got. I know we got some metal Have scrap, so maybe adventure. we can actually make some bullets. Ah, uh, you need chem fluid for that. And I have none. What can I equip that has bullets? This has bullets. No, it doesn't. What the fuck? This has. This has. Thanks, Cody. 420 and 420 makes 840, which is not as funny, but still fun. <laughs> Cody, my top boy. Top boy of the night, my top bony boy. Please don't scrape me. Please don't scratch my back. I'm good. I'm good on that. 
I, so I'm gonna try and beat a boss with a handgun. This shouldn't be a problem since I'm in easy mode, but uh, I'm a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe there's some shit in here. I absolutely adore it. I'm trying to figure out what to do with mine. Well, I mean, long hair on a guy can look really cute if you like beards, and it looks like you have a beard. So when do I buy my dang castle? Should I have a lot of property laying everywhere or nah? I feel like people may want to break my stuff. So, <laughs> it looks like what probably is happening is that, like, if you have any vases, people will probably break them to see what's inside. I don't know. Everything! <laughs> At least I have this hair to hide in now. I can just hide in my hair. <laughs> Cody made a community post about the stream. Aww. That was sweet of him. That was so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I bet her ass is even bigger now. <laughs> She's scary. No. What do I do? Did I just let her take me? I just let her take me. You gotta make sure to have lots of herbs in those pots. Yeah. Keep it really authentic. I like how they just leave this stuff here, like, well placed for this entire scene, and it's just like, that's not weird at all. I have no idea where this bitch is. I'm gonna go back down the stairs, it feels safer down here. I vote for the name change. What name change? To Poop Casserole? Did someone say I should change my name to Poop Casserole? Holy hell, I'm the all-time top bo bone. Oh my god, you are. <laughs> You've given me $97.22. That is a lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. <laughs> 234 subs, you are coming along nicely. Thanks, Joseph B. Everybody remember to like and subscribe, please, please. That's a play on Cody's puppy, please. <laughs> First time I heard the big boss battle was when I was painting an empty room. It was creepy as hell. Yeah, it's creepy. I feel like I gotta go somewhere, because she's not coming back yet, so... I've just gotta go meet her somewhere or something, I don't know. Okay. No. <laughs> I gotta hit the stupid lady thing on the top of the ground. Yeah, I gotta hit the lady thing on top of the back. I'm horrified. What 
Am I not killing her? I'm gonna kill her, right? I, just, I wasted all my ammo. I'm dumb. I'm just a little dumb. That's all. Okay, so I never got the sniper rifle. That was not smart of me. You can run, but you can't hide. So all I have is a handgun. That's fun. Get out of here. I don't think I can do anything about that. Thanks, Big Sandman! You're taking over! You're taking Cody's top boy spot! You're taking over Cody's top boy spot! Big, Big Sandman, my new top boy boy, my all time bone daddy. Oh, fuck. Eee. You got me. Please stop, please stop. <laughs> it's creepy. I don't have a sniper rifle. I didn't have enough room to pick it up way back when, so I didn't. I get to be top sim for like five minutes every time. <laughs> See, this stuff was left in place perfectly because of all the dead versions of you that had tried in the past. I didn't expect that. I didn't... I really didn't expect that. Fucking god damn. She gonna kill me. Stop! She killing me. I can't possibly survive this. Okay, I, I survived this. But... No! This is horrifying and terrible. I'm out of bullets. to do. I didn't get the sniper rifle. I'm in trouble, guys. I see it in your inventory. What? Maybe Lady D put the stuff there because she wants to be killed. Secretly, she wants this world to end for her. <laughs> Eat it, Cody. I let you be Cody. Yeah, it doesn't last long. You gotta be like Ballard, <laughs> Ballard and go all out. To be fair, I would call it self-defense. Your daughter's attacked first. Yeah, I mean, really. They were nightmares. They wouldn't quit going in my face over and over again. <laughs> Whatever that means. You mean this thing, Cody? I don't think that's the rifle because I keep trying to... I keep trying to use it and it says that I don't have any bullets, but I do. Okay, there we fucking go. I have bullets dropped randomly. Stop it, please. All right, maybe we can do this now. Six thirty-nine. Thanks, Cody. Thanks for the bony boys. Take it back over the bone daddy of the night. <laughs> I'm just so scared. This is horrifying. Don't eat me. Can I just run forever and then she'll get real tired eventually? Is that how it works?
This thing takes forever to load. God. Shotgun ammo, okay. shots in I need your flush <laughs> I don't know anything about that I'm not like that at all Cody probably ready to have a stroke about that sniper I'm sure like yep <laughs> he's like it's right there it's right there and I'm like I don't see it I don't, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> to be fair though it wouldn't let me load those you bullets for some reason I kept Equipping it and then hitting reload, and it was like, nah, nah. Alright, so where the hell are we at now? A little jar. Is it a candle? Does it smell nice? Cody probably ready to. Oh, yeah. What worries me is that she is an engineer. <laughs> Listen. I don't know who let me be an engineer. I've never claimed to be intelligent. Never. Not once. Not never. Rose. Rose. <clears throat> yeah, we're saving. For sure. I finished that item that was requested. Please deliver to the house with a red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins and down the village. Down into the village. It smells like dead babies. <laughs> I can smell dead babies. What was in there again? What did I grab? I don't know. 
Ooh, examine her dump truck. <laughs> as long as it's not a structural one, everyone is safe. No, I'm not a structural engineer. I did get a degree in mechanical engineering, though. I will say that. As long as it's not a... Have you saw Lady D yet? Yeah, yeah, we've been in the castle and we just got out, uh, Jesse Boschner. We, we're, uh, we've escaped and we are headed back into the village, I think. We're supposed to be looking for Baby Rose. That is where we're at right now. Is this the way I, this is the way I came. Yep. Like the hair. Thanks, Senior Tally. Your tally here again. Do I have to like go through the woods again or something? I don't like to go through the woods. I gotta go through this house, huh? I saw that window. That's probably where I gotta go. I remember this. Pillsbury needs a peaceful mode in Resident Evil. I do, like, uh, like, like there's actually no enemies. You're just kind of like walking around and examining what's going on. I guess I still don't have that stupid crank thingy. Where the absolute hell do I go? Is Baby Rose in this toilet area? Okay. Is that what this is for? No. What did I just grab? Is there a way out through here? Alright, we're gonna close that door, I guess. Life is so hard. The night is dark and full of terrors. I don't know where to go. There's steps into the well. Do I go into the well? There's something I'm still supposed to find. After last stream, I'm guessing no more Jack. Oh, for Cody? Did Cody drink Jack? Senior Tally something again. <laughs> there were secrets here, but I forgot. <laughs> oh no. Pillsbury needs a peaceful mode. Yes, I do. Take out your gun. That's my hint. <laughs> okay. So when I take out my gun, is someone gonna come and like attack me or something? I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Frank McCormick! Eleven bones, two little two little bones side by side. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, kind sir. Kind sir. I've been feeling very British lately because I watched a British TV show. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Richard. You missed the troubleshooting part of the stream. We already had it today. That's kind of fun, right? Uh, I literally just, just didn't see that there was a door here. <laughs> Wait, no. We went through this door on purpose because we couldn't find another way out. So this is locked. I wonder if any of our keys work on this. I don't think they do or else they would just probably automatically work, but no. Thank you again, Frank and Richard and McSandman and Camelot331, aka Cody, for tipping on, tipping, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can make words happen. <laughs> we'll try that again for supporting the stream tonight. I appreciate it, guys. Hey, sorry I'm late. I've been clogging. Blogging about the absurdity of my life. Oh, no? CLMC. Do you have anything really crazy going on you want to share with us? You want to share? 
Uh, also, if anybody knows where to go from here, because <laughs> I'm stuck in, oh my god, there's a whole entire fucking trail right here that I just completely didn't see. Who let me play video games? Who thought that this was an okay idea for me? Alright, so obviously we have to lift this bridge down somehow. Can I, like, shoot the wires? The ropes? No. I don't think that's possible. I think it would have worked if it was going to work. Ugh. But monkeys. Butt monkeys now this time. No fudge about them. They're just butt monkeys. This is terrible. It's terrible. What else did I miss? Alright, maybe I gotta go back in there and find a lever to let the bridge down. Maybe that's what we're doing. Hello, I'm new. Hello, Mia Antoinette. Antonetti. Hello, how are you? Joseph B, same person who let you be an engineer. <laughs> the same person who let me be an engineer is the same person who let me play video games. And both of them were so terribly wrong. They were just so mistaken. They made bad choices. Alright, we can't go around the monstrosity. There's no way out. This is the only way we can possibly go. We've ruled out everything in there. Like, literally the only thing we can do is to find a way around here. And I'm just not seeing a way. I'm not seeing it. There's no other paths. Now you all know why I love the fam so much. <laughs> because you got, you got crazy things going on in your life. And you're blogging about them. Know you on Monday since that one guy kind of ruined it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one guy was an ass. <laughs> he was a big ass. Shoot the lock or knife it. Okay, I'll try that. You are overthinking it. Go to the door. <laughs> Use the puppy. Well, since when in this game can you just get through shit by shooting it? That's abnormal. Playing Jack was fun though. Hope you're doing Oh, Jackbox. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jackbox. We'll definitely have to do that again. I love it. It was fun. That's one of my favorite games to play with people because I feel like you can really get a sense of like who people are when you're playing that game. Kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but it's even better. Like you even get more custom customization. Deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings. As the midnight moon rises on black wings. We await the Nice Castlevania the reference. Kill the fish. No! I'm not killing the fish, Richard. Richard! What did the fish ever do to you? I almost died at that castle. Tell me, what is going on around here? How can I The flash was my favorite. Same, Joseph E. Same. Until the guy ruined it, but it was my favorite up until that point. I had a lot of fun. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. You will kill the fish. <laughs> Take her. No. You're too late. No. They drink my water. <laughs> they drink my water. <laughs> they shit in my water. <laughs> Those fish. Those fish shit in my water. <laughs> in my bath water. May open the path. In pooping it. <laughs> Will you please stop Aren't they friends, huh? I just want to find my daughter. Who friends? The fish? I'm friends with the fish. The fish will kill you if you don't. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, hey, wait! She just goes, hey, 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 and then like leaves me. Do I do anything here? Is this a puzzle? Looks like a puzzle. Alright, it's not a puzzle. Me! 
It's weird when it plays that music. Examine. Use the winged key. Tiny's mom could cosplay as a witch so accurately it would be crazy. <laughs> Is she short like Tiny? I beat this game and it's damn scary. Fell off my chair a few times, not kidding. Brian, I don't know, you didn't see me during the boss fight. If you Were you here? I was like literally like this the entire time. Just like, ah, like so freaked out. <laughs> The fish is food, not friend. <laughs> fish are friends, not food. I actually had a heart for the chicken until I realized you can eat them. What? <laughs> what? You can eat chicken? I like chicken. I like Popeye's chicken. Popeye's chicken's my favorite chicken. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 Pop Popeye's chicken. And their biscuits. Even though they'll choke you because they're so dry, it's like they're still somehow so good. Don't worry. It's going to get worse. Much worse, trust me. No, please. No. No. Just wait until she has to fight Is this Sturm. Sturm? I'm really scared, you guys. My heart's literally beating really fast right now. Literally. It's like, you're stupid. This pattern's familiar. You should remember this. I don't remember. I don't remember. It will make sense a bit later. Don't be, you have shotgun. It's the umbrella logo. <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed to do something here? I'm supposed to do something here and I don't know what it is. I don't know. Any herbs anywhere? Woman, you have no idea what's waiting for you. Brian! Brian, help me! Brian, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, I know Umbrella from Mario 1. I just... I didn't know if, like, that was still something I had to deal with. It's Toby's logo. <laughs> Not yet, but you will do something there. Okay, later. I have a feeling you're giving me life advice. The dollhouse be afraid. Oh, I've heard things. I've heard things about the dollhouse. This is a little scary. This is a little weird. I don't, I don't know. There's a guy up there. Should I kill him? Should I kill this guy? Can I kill him? Please no. Please no, please no, please no, please no. No! Stop! Don't put your axe in me. I'm good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm fine. Just die, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Thanks. Eh. Eh. I don't have a lot of ammo left. I just don't have a lot of ammo. Alright, we'll be good with that. I hear them, but I don't see them. Where are they? I'm scared. Horrific things, one especially horrific and nightmare inducing. 
thing. Is it the baby? I've heard about the baby. I haven't seen the baby, but it scares me. I'm just so bad at this. Wasting all my bullets. It was just a hole for no reason that we went into and risked our lives. All right. Okay. Okay. Do we have any more keys? All right, we can't open this yet. Lame. Here's something. Here's something. It scares everyone. Hint, while blocking, you can punch or kick as soon as the enemy attacks. I'm retarded, I should've known that. That's the way we came. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we're back in the city, I think. In the town center, maybe? No, no, okay, all right. Y'all stop being crazy. There you are. I had a feeling you would Moral question of the day. Is it wrong to video chat while on worthless. the john? Is that so? It depends on I who you're video you chatting. I video chat value. my mom on the bathroom. I'm not sure if it's about you, but... But I don't video chat, like, just Why? normal friends you have your daughter on the toilet. Unless we're close like what that. What are you saying? Take a closer it's her ashes. They burned her. They put her in the jar. Head. Really? It's just the baby's head? That flask seems to contain her head. What? That's really fucked. What? Roses. Don't say another word. This, this is impossible. This just can't be. Your daughter's essence is All my friends are intact. abnormal, so I've got that going the for me. Powers are true. Same. Yeah. Mine are pretty weird. Pretty weird. I told you the candle smells oh. like dead babies. Oh Who no! You Should did tell me that, Thomas Gerald. You did. Saved from this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Joseph, so Go if they are the all abnormal, then there. abnormal is normal. Then we can continue our conversation. Theoretically. Quit holding theoretically. And get to the according damn to point. sociology, that's you the case, I guess. Trust my words. But do you have any better options? Normal friends seem lame. Normal friends are lame because then when you're like weird around them, they feel uncomfortable and Your you're choice. like, I'm just trying to be myself, the so. The is always right. After all, he'll bury you if I find out this is a lie. It's not his fault. He doesn't look like he's fit enough to behead a baby and put it in a jar. Well then, feel free to peruse. I like how we're like having a heated conversation, and then I'm like, "Hey, let me buy some shit from you." Nine. 
Please let me know if you'd like to strengthen your weapons. I didn't get a lot. I didn't get a lot for that. Aha. I'm still finding a lot of shotgun ammo, so it seems like a good thing to do. Food is life. I could sell shit. I forgot about that. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Let's sell all this stuff. Let's sell all these weird fucking crystal remnant stuffs that it's are weird and creepy. I see. I kind of wanted to keep them as like murder trinkets, but I guess it's fine. Oh, Lady Dimitres. Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. Lady's lipstick. Ooh. Yes, I want to treat it for that. As always, I've been a saving up apparently. Alright. All we need is weapons. We don't need any Security cool shit. We just need weapons. More important than anything. Anything, my friend. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. Out of money now. Please come again. All my friends are normal. Indeed, I'm uncomfortable. Richard, why are you uncomfortable? Hint. Oh, because you're the normal friend. You're the normal friend, Richard. I don't think you're as normal as you're telling us you are. Hint. Always examine your treasure items and key items, as some are combinable or has hidden items. Ooh, I probably should have done that because I did not did not do that Josephie if you are the weird one you need new friends I agree I agree because how could you progress in your weirdness if you don't have any examples inspector gadget I didn't even realize that I was doodling or doodling the inspector gadget theme song I went to go see that in theaters when I was a kid with my dad and I remember eating McDonald's chicken nuggets and they tasted terrible and that's really all I remember about the entire experience. Best line in the game, save your money. <laughs> this game makes me want to play RE, replay RE4. Just like real life. I honestly enjoyed RE8 more. Really? You liked this game more than RE4? Didn't you speedrun? You, you speedrun RE3, right? Wait. We're going this way. One of these ways. Probably just straight, I'd imagine. Where did we come from this way? I don't even remember anymore. I don't even remember. Let's try going this way first. Alright, so you have to go through these in order, apparently. I have the one with one wing key, 
So I imagine in each one of these I'll get keys with another wing on it, probably. For a winged being. You should play RE4 too. Heck, you should try playing all of them except for 5 and 6. Yeah, I heard 5 and 6 were whatever, so... Hint, red section and map means incomplete. If you don't find anything, then it's usually hidden gems in the wall or ceiling. Hard to spot, but they sparkle. You add wings to the same key. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Oh yeah, I just gotta shoot it. Which seems silly, but it works. I know where we are. We've been here before. We've been here all before. Second your key. Lock pick. Complete chalice. <sighs> okay. I thought we were trying to find a house with a red with a red there it is, Jimmy. Walk to the other side, naturally. Can't move this. All right. Also, ignore the RE3 remake. Yeah, I heard that as well. <laughs> Joseph, for sure. I remember when Five came out, was so hyped, only to be utterly let down. Examine the statue. Pretty sure I examined the statue last time I was here, but let's see. Yeah, I don't think it wants me to examine it anymore. I think I already got the gem out of it. Maybe that one? The shield. I don't think that's what we do, but I don't know. Maybe spark in the shield. Uh, I mean, I think I already got that one. I think I got that one last time we were here. Um, I'm trying to get to that one, that house, but like, there's a bunch of shit in the way. Stop. That's so rude. There's a house beside the red chimney house that has a hole in the wall leading to the red house. Alright, so if that's to be true, then we have to go near a house that has, near the house that has a red chimney. Which is that one. So, is it... 
hole in the wall leading to the red house. How would that be? I don't know. Let's go in here and see what we find. Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way. Is it this one? Is it this house? I don't know how. It's across the street. It's not this house. There's the red chimney. You can also go to Luis's house for the key for the chest. Eh. This sounds like the right place. thing I don't like about these games if you don't have any guidance it can be quite frustrating let's see I feel like I have to move this or something but there's no real way to do it so maybe not unless I gotta bomb it I do a bomb That was a waste. All right. Yeah, I know it's right there, right? It's that one. That one with the red chimney, right? Beware in the right path. So it's that house with the red chimney. It's the house next to it. That one. Pull up map. Like, like that one, or like that one. That one. This one. Yeah, right there, right? This one right here? That one. That one? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so, but I can't go that way because the gate is closed. See? <laughs> me, 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 me. It's gotta be in there somewhere, like that way. I know it's that way, but I can't go that way. Locked from the other side. Go the other way. What other way?
there's a giant cart right here. So I can't go that way. And this gate is locked. So I can't go that way. Maybe I go all the way around this way? Is that what you mean? This way? I'm gonna assume you mean yes. Not that way. No. No, fuck. I can't go this way either. There's like no way to go this way as well. Yeah, like I thought I'd be able to go. I could go that way though. Except there's a giant tractor here. Yeah, there's a giant tractor here. I can't go. Oh. No. A place where I heard sound. Alright. Where did I hear sound? Oh, in there. In here. I heard sound in here. I'm at the place where I heard sound. Now what? I heard a scream from the house with the chimney. I was going to take a look, but the other, but the way was blocked by debris. Going to have to take a long way around. Who would have thought that the hole in the stable walls would come in handy? If I'm not back by morning, you should go to Louise's house alone. All right. So apparently, we found the way. It's in this house. Well, it's out of this house. No, please. What an animal body. Why? Why? There's gonna be bad things out here, aren't there? Bad things! Bad, bad things. Alright, so we're on this side of the stable now, which is probably where we need to be. Shot. Okay, cool. I needed that chem fluid so very desperately. Thank God. Map. Map. <sighs> what? Thank you, Cody. I appreciate it. Cody taking over the bone daddy spot once again. Yee yee. Need to find the head cells for more. Ah. Examine the room and go to the other door. Yeah. Need some other kind of item. I don't think we have anything that would go for that. Yeah. Alright. All right, I think I know where we're going, which is this way. Am I wrong? Okay. 
I think we have no choice but to go this way. And this tractor's in the way. So, this way? Skelly is going to have one hell of a new knee. <laughs> one big new knee. Coming right up. It's like literally just a skull. He's a skull head knee. Do not enter. Well, I think I'm going to, so. What if there was more people? That would make me feel good. Like I'm not so alone. Like I'm not so alone. <laughs> this guy's just had like half a hand this whole entire game. Why do I feel like bad things are gonna happen in here? What is that? Look out the window. No, please. Please don't do this to me. I don't want to look out the window. Hey, Cody, what's the code for this? <laughs> My boy, what is up, Cody? Gold plated. <laughs> you can use a knife to break the lock. Oh. Yeah, that I won't have to use guns. That would make sense. 331. <laughs> Richard, it's not 331. We're going to type it in, though, until he gives us the correct code. I just don't get the point in wanting to look into, like, the code stuff for this. Look out the window to find the code. Oh. Oh. Oh seven. Oh four. Oh. But that was scary. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. All right. Oh seven. Oh four. Oh eight. Is that all? Okay. I thought there was more digits than that. Oh seven. Oh four. Oh eight. Fudge monkeys. I fudged it up already. Me, 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 me. Cool. Cool. Uh, I just upgraded this pistol, but I guess I have a new one, so. What do I do? There are items which cannot be discarded in the discard area. Return them to your inventory. Mm. That jump scare got everyone. <laughs> Didn't like that. Better get used to it. No. You guys. I have I have to relieve myself. I've drank like three body armors today. I'll be back. I don't have I don't have a tiny and I don't have have a Cody. I have no one to take over for me except for Skelly. I told you to shave your save your money, shake my head. Didn't like that, but I get used to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> be nice to Skelly, guys. He's a little camera shy.
really nice to you. You guys, ever since the poop casserole incident, I feel like every time that I poop not in a car, it just feels like a blessing. It just feels like a blessing. It was very... Skelly just face dove into the floor. He'll be okay. It's all right. He doesn't have nerve endings. He'll be fine. <laughs> what did you guys say about our Skelly? That's Pillsbury when she finally finishes our E8. <laughs> oh my god. But you're not wrong. But you're not wrong, so it's fine. <laughs> I would love for him to start talking. Hi, Skelly. How was your day, bud? <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> it's casserole time. <laughs> Richard, you weren't wrong. Those bones got me hot and heavy. <laughs> hey, I was gone and Richard tipped me two dollars. Two little bones, I love it, thank you. <laughs> you know, he looks like a really fun date. He's a sweet, he's a sweet bony boy. He's a sweet bony boy. Skelly jump scared us. He's quite the looker. He's the silent brooding type. That's what you guys think. I mean, when I'm not on stream, he's a chatter. <laughs> One color brown. Just brown. <laughs> Neither do I. Skelly face palmed the earth. He did. He did. He face palmed the earth. Indeed. You have two handguns that use same ammo. Sell the weak one. Uh, I was trying to get rid of this, but it says that you can't get rid of um, this one. Oh, my mouth still isn't showing up. I was trying to get rid of the weak handgun, but it wouldn't let me, so. Let's try, what? It, okay, it lets me. I'm just retarded as all. Well. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm slow. I grew up in a different time when it was like, okay to say that, and so don't judge me. I still have to mentally remind myself that that's not something people say anymore. You have two handguns that use the same ammo. Yeah. Skelly is so chiseled. Sup, pills? Hey, Under Drifter. What's up? You missed it. We had a Skelly takeover. <laughs> Skelly is secretly a romantic French guy. <laughs> How do you do emojis? Uh, I think there's like an emoji, like, smiley face button thingy. Or if you're on a phone, you can use your phone keyboard. Don't discard it. Still it. Us cool kids will say it. What do you mean, don't discard it? Is that discarding it? If I put it over here? How do I still it? Did I put it somewhere else? It's not letting me, like, change the screen. <laughs> Damn, sorry, I missed that. I mean, sell it, autocorrect. I'd have to go somewhere far away to do that. We're just gonna discard it. Fuck it. Who cares? Nobody cares. It's all good. It's easy mode. We're fine. <laughs> this game is not gonna be stressful. What? There are items which cannot be discarded in the discard area. Return them to your inventory. Why? Maybe I can rearrange this somehow. I've done that before. Um. What the shit? Okay. There's a way you can twist this to like get it to stand upright. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Lanner's mine. Hello, how are you? Brian, it's money. Get rid of knife. Now, every time Doe Girl uses the bathroom, it will be casserole time. 
Yes. Yes, I don't mind. It's fine. <laughs> we'll get the speedrun trophy now. Oh, no. Oh, no. That one time that I took too long to fix my inventory, it's it's ruined me. It's definitely not all the other times I fucked up a bunch. <laughs> RTLT, yeah. If you need more space. I need to sell stuff whenever I get to a selling point eventually. So I think now we have the tool to move. I don't like it. No, please. Oh, there he is. God. They're like invisible. They're literally invisible. I don't like it. Oh my god, there's so many. There's no in- oh shit, I just realized I don't have any ammo. Okay, I have shotgun ammo though. Okay. I think we're safe. I think we're safe now. <sighs> hey Pills, what are you playing with on console or PC? PC, but I have a Xbox controller that I play with it with. Didn't PBH, she had more poo stories than just poo casserole? Yes, Frank McCormick, yes I did. You know what, I've embarrassed myself enough. I'll tell you guys a story about my brother. Um, Apparently, we both just have a lot of poop stories, and we always end up talking about them during family dinners. Um, but one time, I was taking him to somewhere, and there was nowhere for us to stop. And he had to go really bad, and we kept stopping at all these different exits, but it didn't matter because nowhere, nowhere had anything. And finally, he just looks in the back seat and he finds one of his son's diapers and uh he is like i guess this will do and he's like pull over pull over so we pull over on the side of the highway with cars flying by and he starts pooping in a diaper in the back seat and so i'm like laughing and like throwing up like gagging because it's disgusting and it smells and he is like um he is telling me not to look and I'm just like laying on the horn so that everybody that drives by will look at him and see him and he's getting so mad it was definitely the best why is this guy so hard to kill this fucker that guy was stubborn he didn't want to die I think you're dead pills <laughs> yes she did those guys are simps. Shoot them. Okay, poop story. I'll be RB. <laughs> Don't look at my poop. <laughs> he was like being joking though, because my brother doesn't actually care. So he was really just in the backseat going, Don't look at me! But he is just completely joking. <laughs> I bet he didn't want the story leaked. Oh, haha. Uh, <laughs> he, he doesn't care. We always tell our gross poop stories and end up talking about poop during family dinners, and everyone always hates us. It's always me and my brother doing that, so people get mad at us. Is this the... This is not it yet. I need to look at the map. Okay. We are almost there. I don't really want to go in that house. But I guess I might have to. We just move this truck. I gotta go in the house. I know I do. Sigh. I didn't want to go in another dark and damp place. I guess I can go up there. Lay? I just want ammo. Why can't you give me some ammos? Just a little. A little ammos? Just a little? Can I go up there? I think I can go up there. Can I? Nope. Okay. We are stuck with going in the house. We've been here before. We've totally been here before. 
I don't like that sound. Whatever that sound is. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, it's so gross. I mean, I feel like I gotta be in here because... There's a reason. I haven't seen you play the castle, but by the end of it, you should have acquired at least 50 ammos. I'm also really bad at this game, so I probably used them all. <laughs> PBH shot at everything. <laughs> Frank McCormick knows what's up. No matter if it's Dogrel or Cody's vids, can't escape the poo. Nope, poo forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> It's a cute little... Oh, fuck. Oh, God, no. I should have known it would hurt me. Of course it was going to kill me and not be my friend. Of course it wouldn't be my friend. Should I kill it? Do I kill the pig? Right in its tiny. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but... Just me? What? Why? Why is me a thing that I can have? <laughs> Alright, I can't have meats. I shot it right in its butt, and for no reason. What the fuck? I am back where I was. Why is this happening to me? You can sell that for money, I hear, but I don't know what to do. Oh, that's not any good. Nope, we don't like that. Why is it I've gone through this house after painstakingly lifting that truck only to find that there is no other way to go? I'm quite upset. There has to be a way to get this truck out of the way. There has to be. It's your favorite thing. Meat. <laughs> Look at map, Gooby. I am looking at the map. Oh, can't go that way anyway. But I know that I have to go, like, over here. I don't know. I guess I go this way. It's weird going back the way I came, or, like, in the same direction that I came from. It feels wrong, but I guess this is the right way. No, please. Thank you, Frank McCormick. 420. 420. Ah, damn. I've used all my ammo. I am hopeless. dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm gonna use all my ammo and be just dead. We'll see if I can make any more. We needed that. <laughs> ah, fudge, that was for the... Never mind. <laughs> I never got the shotgun ammo patent because I'm stupid. Knife when you don't want to use bullets. 
How do you knife? Do you have to like equip the knife specifically to use it? Town? Village? Yes. Town. Yes. <laughs> Resident Evil is the epitome of backtracking. Reload the sniper. This thing just takes forever to reload when you're trying to use it. And since accuracy is not my gig, it causes a little bit of awfulness. No! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not a friend. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Fuck! Please no, please no, please no. I don't know what I should do here. I'm gonna die. I just know it. Oh, please. 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 When does he die? I don't like it. Ugh. No. Okay, back we done with the poop tails. Yeah, you missed the whole poop tail, Underdrifter. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm home alone, I go to the backyard garden, get naked, cover myself with dirt, and pretend I'm a carrot. Doesn't everyone? Doesn't everyone do that? There's a quick weapon change function, isn't there? I don't know. Ribbons. Aim for the head. I do aim for the head, I'm just not good at it. I'm panicking, so my finger is pushing way too hard on the joystick, and I end up flinging my point of view every which way. Oh, I know what key this is. It's the iron key. Oh. A well wheel. Oh, I can go through all the wells now and get stuff. I'm so excited. Yay. Let us see, let us see. To whom it may concern, due to the luthiers' long absence, I am keeping hold of this house key. Please find me if you need it. Best regards, Yosef Simmons, Benavetti's gardener. Benavetti's gardener. Benavetti's. Benavetti's. Me, 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 booby, 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 boo. <laughs> no, please. Handgun ammo. Stop it! Nice. Headshot completely on accident. I can't help it, guys. I just waste so much ammo. I get so scared, and then I just start shooting, and I'm like, ah! It's like I have no choice. I have to.
And my cat has come and is watching your stream with me. Oh, Joseph, I love cats. I love cats so much. I love dogs, but I love cats. Paul, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you played many peanut butter games with the dogs. Oh no. <laughs> Just came by to say hey. Hey, Ben Vodka Boy Loud. Good night. Have a good rest. RAS humming leads to jump scares. Lloyd. Camel, when you think you switched to pro is coming. E3, you don't know. Everybody wants a piece of the Pillsbury, so she started blasting. <laughs> oh my god. Do I move this truck or something? I'm so confused. Do I need a key now? I need a key now. Hmm. Maybe I've got to go somewhere else. I am so confused. I am so confused. Confusion. The door though. What door? What door? I didn't I didn't see a door. Through here. We went through there. We went th oh ladder. I missed the ladder. Am I supposed to go this way? I feel like I'm supposed to go this way, but I don't know. Is it literally just to get metal scrap? Is that the entire purpose of this ledge right here? That is so lame. Chickens. Should I kill the chickens? I love chickens. <sighs> it's very sad to hear. Note to self, PBH not allowed near the guns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably not the best idea. I agree. I agree. has to be that way. I have to go that way. There's no other way. The iron door. I did go through the iron door. Let's try in here. Did you make it to the chimney house? No! No, I haven't! Everything is bad. Go into the blue house on the map. Yeah, I did. I did that. Blue house. Go into it. Now what? That's that blue house, yeah? You get in there through the blue house. Yeah? This blue house? I don't see. Away. So you must not mean this one. I do see this ladder. I could go up the ladder. Don't sell me. Oh. I didn't know I could just jump off that ledge. That's a window. Okay. I thought that was a door. My bad. I also thought that was a door. Alrighty then. Be that way. Me, 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 me,
there's a hole in the ceiling. Maybe. Yep, red chimney. Yep, hole in the ceiling. I'm scared. How did I know there would be bad things in here? What possibly could have led me to believe that there would be bad things in here? Nothing. Nothing for me. Nothing at all. Lame. In the butt. Yes. I'm getting better at headshots. Slowly but surely. Oh, this poor lady. Sad day. All right, uh. I thought we were gonna find the baby in here. It's a GameStop employee. <laughs> oh wait, the baby's head is in the jar, right? Oh, there they are. Ah. Damn it. I'd better see the Duke again. Yeah, I know. Because we ain't got shit. Wait. Did that just say we didn't have room for that? No, okay, we got it. Cool. We had to go back to the Duke. I don't remember where he is. That aim assist, Pillsbury. We'll call it your aim, though. <laughs> Look, I, I got the little dot thing right on his head. Is that the, That's the aim assist, I guess. How do you do it without the little dot? Are you guys really, really that, really that good? Isn't this working? There we go. Give me items. Yay! Oh, okay, this isn't items. Lame. Alrighty then. Pretty sure we came back out of the village from one of these ways. Was it this way? Oh yeah, and the guy's in here. There he is. How was it? Did you learn anything? He stores I keys in his back pocket. Now, totally different inventory. Like Settle down. First you must use that Combines it with the wooden body. Aim the sense is automatically turned on. In settings, people don't usually turn it off. In you have the one. I wonder why. The lords have the rest. Other than Resident Evil, what else do you like to play? <laughs> You guys are gonna hate me, but I really Mother like all Miranda, of the Need for Speed games. <laughs> I like horror games, Four any Lord, game with like Sarah. a really great storyline. I like the watching. You've already met, um, Lady and then of course Need for Speed. <laughs> the second lives deep in a valley of mist. The doll maker, Donna Beneviento. Were you able to fix your car, Cody? None of her playmates have ever come back from that. Go right, by the way. Okay. We need for speed. <laughs> that makes me big mad, Pillsbury. I'm sure it does. When, like, people are actual video game connoisseurs and you're like, yeah, I like need for speed or, like, you know, GTO or GTA, they're like, uh, that's not a real video game. <laughs> Ever play any of the old need for speed games? Need for speed underground is my absolute favorite. Definitely. It just has nostalgia for me. Me and my brothers used to stay up late and play it. The fish. Where the fuck is that fish? Why didn't we kill him? We've let him run free, that bastard. That rampant bastard. <laughs> Alright. 
So we're gonna go right after. If Cody said go right. To save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I played underground too, not my tea. I've marked the Lord's Fair. On your map. Fair. If anyone has good taste, it's Some not their cup of tea, but unfortunately, I just. I'm sure each one will prove I don't. Why are you doing this? Combine the wooden head with the wooden body. We'll do. We'll do. And then I'll sell it to him. But I'm pretty sure I got two wooden bodies. Could These be wrong. do come again soon. Oh, I did play the heart pursuit, the hot pursuit one, where like the cops would chase you all the time. Yeah, the customization is what did it for me in Underground. I agree. Oh, I do have a head and a body. Naturally. Ah, uh, yes, I have you. Find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. Aha! One sixty twenty seven two point nine. Oh. This one's, I don't know. I think the one I got is better because I've already put so much work into it. Shotgun ammo. Lame. <laughs> I saw you eyeing that one. I saw you eyeing that one. God, he's so creepy. If you do this, then I can finally prepare a good meal. I will reward. Have a wonderful adventure. Upgrade storage. Okay. If it's just looking, window shop away. Cool. Please come again. <laughs> For the love of fuck. <laughs> and the underground sound soundtrack. Yes. Aw, skeet skeet. <laughs> Girl, gonna need a big purse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. When she's in the store, she doesn't read the chat. That will be her downfall. <laughs> Probably. You know what will be also be my downfall? Just innumerable things. Potentially. Whichever one comes first. <laughs> Do you craft in this one or just upgrade? Uh, you craft. In fact, I should probably make sure I can't craft anything. I like the shotgun best because there's no real aiming involved. Okay. Going through the woods, through the woods to Granny's house, to the woods, to the woods. We're gonna find us a big bad wolf. They should have let us buy a red riding cape. That would have been really fun. Oh, this is the dollhouse, isn't it? Why have you guys done this to me? Why have you done this? Ideally, Skelly would be a nice downfall. <laughs> like, he just comes up behind me and you guys are watching and he strangles me. <laughs> For the fans, of course. Not somebody you want to run into the alley at night. <laughs> I 
doll parts. Nice, nice. Always a good sign. Always a good sign. Booby, 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 booby. Oh, ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> Thanks again to Mick Sandman and Frank McCormick and Cody. Ethan. What? And Richard. Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Yeah? What's going on? Don't move. Does exact opposite. There's a lot of secret stuff in this guy. Oh, I fucked it up already. I'm sorry. This chat is just way too laggy. You guys just have to suffer with my horrible playing skills. I feel so bad. Ethan, you have to fix her. Rose feels different. She has no head. It's in a jar. Probably supposed to go back there through those gates, huh? Everyone needs me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. This can't be real. Well, Bucko, it is. It's real. We all suffer together. Wait, but a viento. What am I supposed to read am on I that? It? I feel like I'm supposed to read that, but I can't read it because it's so far away and my eyesight is bad. My eyesight is so bad. Free from the binds of flesh, she now walks the valley of death. Okay. Fine then. It's the grave for Donna's parents. Bruce R, this is her first time playing like anything. Yeah, it's true, Cody's right. I am not great, I am trying. It's the grave for Donna's parents, she wouldn't survive Outlast. That's the next game actually. Outlast, I've, yeah, no. Unless it has like super easy baby shit mode, I just can't. Win. Alright, so. Confusion. The way that I came is now blocked off by weeds, and uh, I can't get in this door. Did you read the door? Give up your memories. I thought the head flask would for sure be it. Oh! Duh. It's easier than Resident Evil. This game is getting more creepy by the What's second. This is apparently a dollhouse. The far creepiest segment. Is there a save place soon? Because I need to save before I die again. <laughs> Angie is waiting. This is by far the creepiest. Girl, you need to have that shotgun ready. Okay, it's ready. 
Take me away. Okay, there it is. Angie's VA is absolutely beautiful. VA? No, she doesn't. There is no combat in this house. There's no combat? Voice actor. <laughs> What the shit? I was expecting this to be like inside of a house. Oh, there's the house. House Beneviento. Beneviento! It sounds so pretty and nice. And there's like a waterfall over there. This place is nice. I like it. Yeah, it's a waterfall. I just had to go check. I'm lost. <laughs> you will lose your weapons. Oh, okay. Oh, is this like... No, this isn't the old house. Yarn. Tables. Huh. Alright, I guess there's like nothing to find in here. You just gotta like... Probably something that'll tell me stuff about things. Okay, it tells me nothing. Nothing. Okay. This room, or this house, has been so disappointing so far. What? Okay. Hey, James Patterson! Yeah, Paula Rhodes is very pretty. So I felt a bit inspired while watching this stream, so I decided to write some poetry. <laughs> Dylan Schmidt. Care to share, Dylan? That flower is kind of important. Oh. Sure, one stands at a time. YouTube chat doesn't separate it well. Let's hear it. Is it going to be about how terrible of a game player I am? Because I'll warn you. I already know. Okay. Upstairs it is. No other option. To midnight, the shaping of tens, bleak and bright. Flames of green and blue among the dreamers of obsidian lure. All right, we've tried this. Let's see, we haven't tried this door, I guess. Oh, 
Oh my god. There we go. Flames of green and blue among the dreamers of obsidian hue, ethereal stripes of light, misting the bones of morning dew, ever the rosy lens. Descriptive and vivid. Slim we waked the eyes of icy ivory and laughed that it was only skelly. <laughs> laughed that it was only skelly. I like it. I like it. Do I play this? I feel like I play this. No, I don't get to watch a movie. That's lame. So lame. There's just nothing anywhere. Is that that plant? That's that plant. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't like it. Do I kill it? No. What? I want to be like in like the Wait, ring the where she goes, I'm not your fucking mommy. And then like just fucking judo kicks her into a well. I see. I have nothing. A key! I think I missed it, but what kind of engineer are you? I got a mechanical engineering degree, but I do systems engineering right now. Quite soul sucking. Quite soul sucking. I can stop now. Another key part. Winding key. Pillsbury Dough, how nice. I'm a software engineer. Fun, fun. I couldn't do software engineering. I feel like that would be even worse. It'd be even more soul sucking. I, I know what you guys do and it just seems really rough.
people. Okay. Okay. Streamline engineer, but it's just a job title. Oh, okay. What does a stream streamline engineer do? I think it's his wife, right? Josephine. Uh, I work for the. I'm a work for a contractor for the government, so we work on, um, like, weapon stuff, mostly. Can I not take that? I don't understand. Alright. I guess not. That's lame. Engineers stream? Yeah. Joseph V. We do. Pretty good, JB. How are you? Uh. Ooh. Saving. Ba -ba -da -da. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. I. I've gotten vertigo playing this game. I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep getting vertigo. Have any of you guys experienced that? Do you have any tips on what it could be eyes and such examine her whole body i did cody it was like an eagle in one eye and then like her arm had like a thing with three stuffs on it but i can't get her bandages off because it says i need something sharp yeah defense contractor <laughs> i have words fail me sometimes thank you under drifter <laughs> Everybody run. <laughs> My government contacts would never trust me. <laughs> no, just kidding. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> that kind of narrows down who she works for. A little bit. A little bit. I'm a sanitary disinfecting engineer, aka janitor. I mean, really, you could use the term engineer wherever you felt like using it, to be fair. <laughs> I'm a swing shift babysitter for a production plant. Okay, yeah. Yeah, um, I know a lot of people that I went to school with that are engineers that work in plants now. Um, that's like a huge source of jobs for engineers. See a doctor, Richard R.? I have. Um, I didn't have any ear infections or anything. Um, she gave me medicine to help it. And then I'm seeing an ear, nose, and throat doctor sometime soon. I love your hair. Hope your health stuff is okay. Yeah, it's good. I just, I got real, like, dizzy for a minute. And I was like, all right, we're just going to stop playing there. <laughs> but, no, thank you. I, it's a wig. <laughs> it's a wig, but it's really shiny and pretty. Um, you can't run with scissors. It depends on how much you value your life. Like, I might consider running with scissors sometimes. <laughs> no experience with vertigo. Yeah, it's a weird thing. I I don't know many people that have had it. Resident Evil Revelations gave me vertigo bad. Yeah, um, so apparently there's some settings, in case you didn't already know this. If you get vertigo or dizziness from playing a game, there are some settings you can do to mitigate that. Like, you can turn the motion blur off and toggle with some of the display options and it'll be less bad. She has secret clearance. I'll stop now. <laughs> I do. I, do. <laughs> I don't know. If not, are you supposed to tell people when you do? Or are you supposed to be like, no, nah, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> For vertigo, you need a specialist. Yeah, RAS. That's what they have planned next is an ENT doctor. So like your nose throat. Half ran with scissors, now I wear an eye patch. <laughs> Josephie, are you joking? If you're not joking, you have to send me a picture on Instagram. 
I dated a guy that had a glass eye one time. Um, his name was Tyler. And he had a glass eye. And I thought it was the coolest shit ever. Like, he could take it out and you just see, like, red, like, where his socket was. And I was thinking about, like, you know, when he has kids, he could totally just, like, set his glass eye on their dresser and be like, now you stay in bed or I'll know if you get out. Or, like, if they're being bad, he could just take his eye out and, like, put it on their arm and be like, I got my eye on you. Like, I don't know. There's just so much potential there for jokes and all sorts of things. Bruce R. Vertigo sucks. Yes, it does. Can confirm. It's like having the drunk spins. And you didn't even get to get drunk first. It's horseshit. <laughs> I'd recommend the Epley Maneuver for Vertigo if you have tried it. I have. I looked up, like, three different exercises for Vertigo to get, like, ear crystals. Because we have crystals in our ear. In case you didn't know that, we have crystals in our ears. And they can get out of whack. You can, you just can't disclose what you actually do. Yeah. Yeah. Four subs till 250? What? You guys have been subbing behind my back. I didn't even know that subs were happening. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you for everybody for subscribing and contributing to the channel tonight. I really appreciate it. You guys are cool. She would tell us, but then she would have to kill us. I would have to go and find you all individually and kill you all in your beds while you sleep. <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> I'm a, I am got laid off because of COVID and lost my career in retirement. Currently looking for work. Oh, shit. Really, McSandman? That's fucking terrible. Like, they wouldn't, like... I know that there's a thing, like, if you have a lot of retirement, like in something with a company, uh, like, it's kind of, you can't really transfer it over, right? Like, you get it cashed out, but you can't transfer it over as is, and you, like, take a hit or something. The kids will lose the eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just comes back the next day, and it's gone. He's like, not again. That's a weird kink. <laughs> If he had a daughter, he could pull out his fake eye when her date came to pick her up. Yeah, that'd be scary. Be like, I got my eye on you. <laughs> my fourth grade teacher had a glass eye and would roll it on his desk. What? Frank McCormick, what? Okay, so the guy that I had that had a fake eye, like, it wasn't like a ball. It was like, just like a little, like a little cap thing. That went in his eye. Like, it wasn't, like, ra like fully rounded. It was, like, half sphere, kind of. That's weird. Like, having a whole ball. Like, an actual ball. Oh, please do. <laughs> no, don't tell us you had to go through a ten an intensive background check to get that clearance. It, it wasn't very intensive. It, everybody told me that, like, certain things would happen, blah, 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 but... I don't know. This stream is actually being used to see if any of us are doing stuff the government doesn't want us to do. Yes, I'm just here to have feelers out. I have my feelers out for you guys. Hey Pillsbury, will you react to a 20 second video I made on Cody? Maybe. Maybe. Will you link it to me on my Instagram? Or you can comment it on this YouTube stream I think 10 and 10 would have his daughter home by 945 <laughs> yeah <laughs> like you said 10 sir 945 it is 15 minutes early <laughs> if it's a secret clearance it's not that extensive yeah yeah I know like some people that had to do top secret and it got a little a lot weirder the NSA is watching <laughs> They're always watching. They're always watching us. Hi, everyone. Hey, Katsuka92. How you doing? Do you have anything cool going on in your life? We're just talking about uh, glass eyes and this government watching us. <laughs> McSandman. No, it was a state job, so to keep it, I have to transfer to another state job with the same retirement plan. That's like horseshit. Like, I've never understood that. And state jobs are hard to get because, like, 
usually they're grandfathering in people that are like, you know, have been working full time. Like, I don't know. State jobs are hard to get. It's top secret clearance that they do very thorough background checks, etc. Yeah. Streaming on Wednesday now instead of Thursday, Doe Girl. Yes, Joseph B. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but it would just work out better for me if it was Wednesdays. I have some some family plan ideas. We were thinking of doing like a family night every week with me and my brother and my dad and my nephew um, on Thursday nights because Friday nights he goes home to his mom. They share custody. So it just sounded like a good idea. Today is Thursday, brah. I know. I know. Thursday was my old schedule. I thought I'd just uphold it until next week and then do Wednesdays. It's four minutes till Friday for me. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're, you're, you're behind. Or ahead. You're ahead of me by an hour. Ooh, you're right. It's all the same. Just glad you're keeping Saturdays. Yeah, I figured the weekdays really wouldn't matter. I know Cody streams on Thursdays, but, um, or on Wednesdays, but, you know, it's no big deal. This is a hobby. I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy talking to people. Like, it's hard to meet people as an adult. <laughs> Once you reach a certain age, it's unacceptable to walk up to someone and be like, do you want to be my friend? <laughs> or to, like, go to a club and, like, you know, I don't know. You just, it's just harder. Things are harder. So any plans in the future of moving out? Moving out where? Like, out of my, I, I, I bought a house. I actually went out on a limb right after I graduated from college. I actually worked my entire way through college um, and paid off, like, student loans and also saved up because I knew, like, housing would be an issue after I got out of college and I before I even got a job I bought a house and it was just a really big move on my part because I had no idea if I could pay the mortgage <laughs> but like my dad co-signed with me like he wouldn't just pay my mortgage for me but like he was willing to put his ass on the line with you know his credit and I was working at Target so I like made the big jump and bought a house so I own my own house right now and then soon after, I got a job, and it, it pays enough to where I can pay the mortgage on my house. So, and it's just a cute little house that needs lots of renovation, but <laughs> I'm working on it. Maybe I can sell it for more than I bought it for one day. I have a harder time catching the Saturdays, but when I can, yeah. Recipe to end up on evening news. <laughs> The social aspect of adulting. True, true. True, true. <laughs> Zero out of ten would not adult again. Yeah, we never asked for this. This is unfair. We didn't ask to be children, but at least as children, life was not shit. And then, then we had to be adults. And it's like, you know what? Just take all of it back. <laughs> it sucks because you're an attractive female, so most guys you're nice to will immediately think you want to have sex with them. Underdrifter. 100%. Like... And it's really frustrating because I actually vibe well with men more or females who are ma more masculine. Like, my best friend, my, like, only girlfriend I've ever actually been best friends with and talked to since, like, high school, she's a lot like me. And we're both, I might come across very girly, but we're both pretty masculine in, like, our likes and, like, you know, what we like to do and how we react to things. Like, we're both just very masculine and... So I, I naturally want to be friends with guys more, and that really does become a problem. Um, I had a bunch of really good friends, guy friends in college, and there were a few of them that actually, like, were totally fine with, like, just being friends with me, and I was, like, impressed by that. Like, if a guy can do that, like, and not get mad, and not, like, want to push things, like, if things were going to happen, they'll happen naturally, you know what I mean? Like friendship can turn into something else but if you're expectant or you're pushy it definitely isn't going to and so like it's really impressive to me when like guys actually hold back and they're like 
all right, like, we're friends, and that's totally fine. Because that never happens. I have a degree in psychology, used to have two jobs. I had to sign an NDAs to work, and I'm currently the head of a shipping uh, tractor parts company. I've used my degree a lot at work. Life is equals weird. <laughs> yes, Dylan Schmidt, life is so weird. <laughs> Dude, I actually really wanted to be a psychology major first. That was my first uh, ever major. I changed quite a few times, but psychology was my first one, and I always wanted to be a criminal psychologist. I just, I find it so fascinating, the way people interact and the way they think. It's just, there's just so much to think about there. Even as a human, it's like, it's, it's like we don't understand each other until we study each other. It's funny. That's good that you bought a house way early. You probably have a lot of equity in the house. I wish I could have made smarter decisions when I was young. No, so I'm 27, but I didn't graduate college until last year. So I haven't had this house for very long. But yeah, I mean, I live in Huntsville, so maybe it does have lots of po positive equity already. I don't know. Right? It's worse now because the state made massive budget cuts across the board, which is the reason I got laid off. And welders are not in high demand in my area, especially for the city or state again. Oh, so you're a welder. Hey, like... That's pretty cool. I actually did welding in high school, which is not anywhere near what you probably do professionally, but I thought it was really fun, and I was the best welder, and all the guys got mad. Um, I had, like, the most even, uh, what do they call it? There's a word for it, what they call each little circle thing. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, at least being a welder, you have plenty of opportunity for like doing things but yeah like I can't imagine working so hard and for so long towards a retirement plan and then not being able to keep it like that's really horseshit if she only friends with guys she belongs to the streets <laughs> you asshat <laughs> katsuka 92 any new movies or tv shows you were you all are into well katsuka 92 it's not really new but both Hill House and Bly Manor are quite obviously, like, masterpieces. Bly Manor less so, Hill House 100%, but they're both super great. Um, I usually end up watching shows late, like, people will talk about them, and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, and then in my defiance, like, of not wanting to watch something someone else mentions, I end up watching it, like, five years later and I have no one to talk about it with because everybody's already watched it like five years ago. <laughs> Psychology is a starving major. There's a video that's called guys can't be friends with women. It's funny but true to a degree. I mean when you think about it like whether two people are attracted to each other or not like in their men and female like they're going to have sexual tension to a degree like no matter what really like there's always going to be a little bit of that and that unfortunately is like the awakening that happens as you become an adult and that's the difference in being young or you know being an adult and it's a little bittersweet it's sad but you're right in that aspect Two subs to 250. Ooh, ooh. I constantly love to learn about people's individual psycho psychology and such, like learning someone's mental fingerprint. Yeah, Dylan Schmidt. It's just like everybody thinks really differently and they're all sensitive to different things. And it's like you really got to learn people. You think you know someone. But when you really think about it, there's so much minute detail that you can't possibly know them in and out unless you've known them your whole life. I don't notice if a gal likes me until they literally punch me in the face and tell me to wake up. <laughs> Is that your kink? Like, that's how you tell a woman like you, they just punch you right in the face. <laughs> what was that? There was like a show, and it was about a guy in California, and he sleeps with this young girl, and she punches him in the face. Like, do you guys remember that show? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? That was such a good show. I usually can't make good money unless you have your bachelor's or master's. That's not always true. Um, it just depends. Like, I feel like the people that need to go to college and get a bachelor's or a master's degree are the type of people that aren't, like, entrepreneur or, like, have 
like a lot of charisma. That's me. I don't have either of those things. And so I needed direction. And I think that's why people should go to college. It's like if they need direction or they can't like come up with something on their own. Because a lot of times I think that we underestimate how much like businesses, like owning your own business and like, you know, patenting ideas and things like that actually garners people. Oh god, I'm so far behind in the chat. <laughs> I'm trying. I've played it pretty good. Pillsbury out here welding dimes, damn. <laughs> I've worked in forensics for about two years. The media makes it a tad more glamorous than it actually is. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a lot of just like, you know, putting fluids on those like dye tests and stuff like that. It's probably not as exciting. But criminal forensics is fun, I'm sure. Felder, welders do very well financially. Yeah, I've heard that, but I mean, like, they're paying with their body and their health because, like, eyesight is a problem. Um, I know that some people, like, I think the fumes, am I wrong about that? I thought I heard something about that. Like, there's certain jobs where you're paying with your body, like being a construction worker, you might could make good money, but, you know, it's kind of in the long run. By the way, the video title of your crap casserole video bugs the heck out of me. Why, Joseph V? What's wrong with it? Beads. That is the... Yes, beads. That's the word for it. That's awesome that you did that in high school. I want to see some of your work now. I literally just welded lines. It was not intensive. Hey, pack a porn... I can. I butchered that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pillsbury, you should watch a show called Lie to Me. You would enjoy it. Probably. I love all shows. I like any show that I can binge watch, to be quite frank. Police interrogation videos of killers in the body language reading is so fascinating. Yes, Richard. That is my favorite. Like, criminal psychology is so interesting. And, like, the mental break that happens when these people become serial killers is, like... It affects them in so many different weird ways. Like, some of them have, like, tics or, like, their body language changes like you're talking about. Like, it's just so interesting. Oh, when it comes to psychology. Yes, you're totally right, R.E.S. Like, definitely. Because if you, like, if you don't have a... If you have a bachelor's, you really can't even do anything that much. Like, you can be, like, a social worker, which makes, like, almost as much as people make it target. So it's, like, if you're going to be a psychologist, you really need to do master's or doctorates. Transplanting identification social psychology mannerisms, watching my words and their vocabulary and such to help others understand what I'm trying to say. Yes. Uh, Dylan Schmidt, like, as far as communication, like, communication is an art. It is imperfect, and it's so funny, like, misunderstandings and everything that can happen when you think you're communicating accurately and you think you're, like, getting your point across, and then you realize, like, it's, there's so much lost in translation. 1 to 250, ooh -hoo. Appreciate the thought, man. Unfortunately, I'm pretty cemented here where I am. Poor grammar is missing some words. Oh no, is it? Oh no. I'm like the worst at proofreading. And, it, and I also posted that, like, I was going to the doctor's appointment that I had on Wednesday. And I was like, I have to be there in 15 minutes. And it takes me 10 minutes to drive there and 5 minutes to walk in the building. And I had it, like, down pat. And then I was like, <gasps> I never released my video. So I'm, like, scrambling to, like, try and, like, schedule this video. And that's what I did. And, uh, yeah, that's probably why there's a lot of, a, a lot of mis mistakes in there. I don't want to dislike, but I have a bunch of five videos on my YouTube, and I'm trying to get rid of them. Okay. <laughs> That's a myth. The most trades make bank. My brother is an elevator mechanic, still an apprentice, and makes more than his girlfriend, who's an RN. Yes, McSandman. They are, like, literally pushing trades right now. 
because like some of those trades which are just like a one-year degree you go there and you'll start out making like 80 grand in some rare cases but like just the fact that you can go somewhere with a one-year degree and just pop it out and start making 80,000 like it's nothing is crazy like trades are where it's at right now for sure trades over college any day it's just not as glamorized I guess like you like I don't get why people want like a job that's prestigious like to be a lawyer or a doctor or something when you can make more money with less student loans with a trade like or being a plumber like be a fucking plumber they make a lot of money <laughs> i can't believe i'm telling you this <laughs> joseph v why did i do that why did you why did you tell me i never would have noticed <laughs> i can't believe i'm telling you this i can't believe I'm tell you this. <laughs> God, I'm retarded. <laughs> Why don't y'all just be YouTubers? <laughs> well. Well. If everybody's YouTubers, nobody's donating to YouTubers. <laughs> the FBI interrogation of Israel Keys is something to behold. I'll have to look into that. Like, I love true crime as it is. And then, like, if it's something like psychology related I'm like in even more like that's my shit of course all special trades and labor make great money I was just saying when it comes to psychology if you don't have a degree you'll be making crap pay yes RAS yeah and it's because a lot of people like to go into psychology but they don't like to go into it seriously like psychology is obvious very surface level interesting and but most people get into it and they're like, they just want to do a bachelor's. They're not committed. So actually a lot of people have a psychology degree. And that's why they end up like just freaking spamming the, being a social worker or things like that. And it's, there's just not good pay for that. JF, JCS Psychology YouTube channel. Those vids can be long, but they are so compelling. I'll do that for sure. Definitely. I wouldn't know what to do or where to start. I'll probably replace watching. I've, I've ran out of good creepy pastas. I'll probably replace it by watching those videos, Richard. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Cody says, Cody says if you guys want to be a YouTuber, you turn on the camera and say balls and shit and stuff. No, really, though, it's not, it's not a big deal. Like, you, anyone can do it. And, like, if you, I'm not even naturally that funny. Like, I'm not that interesting. And, I mean, I'm only, I'm not, like, making Cody kind of, I'm not making money to support myself on here. But if you want, like, some side money, like, you can do it. <laughs> That's why it bugged me so much. Joseph V, that's totally fair. That is uh, horrid. It's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> Thank Jesus for Fanta. He called me and told me twice when I had typos. Tell Fanta to have my back. Someone have my back. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you this. <laughs> the salary of a psychiatrist and a psychologist are proof of that. Yeah. I actually used to work construction for about $24 an hour as laborer, but I had to stop because my body was giving out after a couple months. Yes, Dylan Schmidt, like you are paying with your body. Like, that's why I am not totally appalled by the fact that NFL players get paid in a, such an ungodly amount because, A, you know, like their genetic skill is just like, you know, one in a large number. And then B, because their bodies they're got they're gonna be screwed when they're older like knee joints back joints whatever like everything <laughs> like it just takes a toll especially with construction workers like i have an uncle that was a construction worker and he was just off and on with his job and no one understood why he couldn't keep a steady job and it was like i'm sure that was part of it like you can't just do that every day Fire equipment dealer, fire inspection, and life safety trade. I 
the BS and yeah, I'm making more now as a HOS than I could have in an opening job in my field. I believe it. If you want to be the big dog on here, you got to say, get on it, dog on it. <laughs> I can't do Cody's accent. Like, I just can't. Like, I'm from the South, but like, I don't know. I just, I'm not good at imitation. <laughs> get on it. Dog on it. <laughs> I did ish. I just binged a bunch of fascinating horror videos. Ooh. RAS, uh, send me some of those. I need some more, like, scary stuff to watch. I'm running out of scary stuff and it makes me sad all day. Makes me sad all day. Gotta ask if you, we poke you in the stomach, will you giggle, no girl? Yes, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure Cody witnessed. Hannah poking me in the stomach at the gym the other day, and I literally was just instantly like, it tickles so bad. Like, I can't be poked in the stomach. I think our generation had college push so hard on us our whole lives that we were all convinced that we did anything else, we would be a failure at life and trades went by the wayside. That's very true. I do think that there's some things that Okay, so how many ways can society measure you? They can measure you by how much money you have, your political beliefs, and then, like, if you have pieces of paper saying you're intelligent. So, like, having a degree being one of those only ways that people can literally measure you in societal standards. I mean, like, there's something cool about having a degree, but, like, it's not enough for the debt and the in necessity of it like it's not worth it you're from north carolina that's diff yeah north carolina accents are different especially if you go where i'm from which is like the outer banks um in the outer banks north carolina like people have almost like a weird old english accent like they say water instead of water and they say two instead of two and uh what can i say what else is there that's weird. There's just so many things, and they just literally sound like they have an old English accent, but, like, crude. <laughs> no real Bama accent. You don't really have a Southern accent either. Cool. Yeah. I, I've, I feel like I do when I get mad or something, or, like, if I'm talking to specific people because I know they feel more comfortable talking to someone that has a Southern accent. Like, it's almost like I pull, whip it out as, like, a tool when I'm talking to an old lady, but, like, I don't really have one. Who is this Cody person? Camelot331. <laughs> you don't really have some effort either. Oh, that's awesome, man. How do you get into that? Who is this Cody person? <laughs> Small boy master race. <laughs> if I wanted to get my master's, it would cost me two years, five years of my life, and not mention cost of living during. I'd have to decide if I wanted a house someday or a decent job in my field. Yeah. A family friend was doing it when I got out of the military, been in it ever since, pays twice as much as when I was making in the military. You have, like, a baby girl with slight twang thing going on. Do I really? Like, so when I hear my voice inside my head, do you guys, okay, so how many people, like, how many of you guys actually feel like you sound on the outside like you do on the inside? On the inside, I hear, like, a deep voice. Like, I think I have a deep woman's voice. And then every, whenever I record myself or when people mention my voice, it's always like a baby voice or a high-pitched voice. And it, I would have never guessed. Like, do you guys have that problem? Dylan Schmidt, yes, I commuted an hour away. I did. I did the same exact thing. I lived, my dad bought this really cheap house in Arab for me and my brother to both live in while we went to college. It was like a really easy way for him to support us big time. So that's what he did. And I drove like an hour to, <laughs> to school and I worked like full time while going to college and paid off student loans as they came. Like, and then I also got financial aid. I got FAFSA. So, but yeah. It's rough, man. Commuting while you're in college and working while you're in college is just too much. It's just too much. <laughs> Bay girl. <laughs> I totally read it as baby and did not even see Bay girl. 
Bay girl, like valley girl, but like bay girl. Is that what you mean? Not me. My inner voice is completely different. Josephine, yeah. You get me. You get me. John Morris, not me. Oh, I can imagine you guys in the military deserve way more. Yeah. Not to be insensitive, but I kind of sound retarded. <laughs> Richard R. <laughs> Listen, are you? did you follow me on Instagram yet? Please send me a video clip of your voice. I also sound not to be insensitive, but a little retarded, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're like in the same boat. It's totally fine. <laughs> Whenever I hear my voice on video, I'm like, please, God, no, please, God, no, that's not my voice, like, <laughs> I completely agree, same man, can't use it for the GameStop like we all wish we could, people's false sense of security people, my inside hates me, but outside I'm okay with myself, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand that sentiment, John Morris. Like Bam Bam, you said you would look at my video. Did you send it? Oh, do you mean like I'm going to react to it on the stream? I'm a little worried. Well, I'm not going to show it on the stream because I'm a little worried. I don't know what it is. I can't see comments on uh, this yet. I have to wait until the stream is over to see comments, I think. Or I'm just done. But both of those, either way. <laughs> My voice doesn't match what I think it sounds like either. I have hella deep voice and I actually get complimented for a lot. I don't understand why. Let me check it on my phone, Blake Bam Bam. Pillsbury, where do you want me to send you those links? Um, you can do it on Instagram. Uh, I think I posted my Instagram in my video description, but if I didn't, it's just the same name. It's just Pillsbury Doho on Instagram. So it's pretty easy to find. And thank you. I'm always looking for new material because I hate when I watch something and I hate it. But if someone else has already, like, kind of okayed it, then I'm like, okay, it's probably good at least. Probably good at least. <laughs> Alright. Let's look at the comments. Uh, yeah, I can't look at the comments until the video's gone. How do I send it? You can send it to my Instagram, like, bam bam. It's, uh, Pillsbury Doho. Spelled the same way. Hey, Retro Envy! Thanks! It's green. It's very, very green. And black up here, like my soul. So from, like, black to zombie. There are ways to hear how you sound to others without recording it. It requires dampening the vibrations of your voice in your head so you only hear it as it sounds. It's interesting. Interesting. I wonder if, like, singers deploy that kind of skill. I don't, I sound mentally challenged. Do you, Lloyd? <laughs> my voice is so monotone. If I sent a video, I could start my own cringe series. I want to hear your voice now. Definitely. I'm very into horror, gore, grotesque, death, disaster videos. Oh, no. Okay, so... I watched the, or I listened to this, um, creepypasta. I don't know if you know what creepypastas are, but there's, like, stories where people narrate them on YouTube, too, so it's, like, even better because you can listen to them instead of reading them. And there was this one RAS talking about horror, gore, grotesque, death, disaster videos, um, talking about the dark web and how on the dark web you could used to go on and you could, like, literally see snuff films, like, live like you could literally see people posting pictures and stuff live of like murdering people and I'm like god that's insane like I like part of me like a sick part of me would be like okay yeah I kind of want to see that but the other part of me would be like I would feel so bad that I couldn't help this person you know like that's being murdered like or I would feel like also that I was kind of egging a serial killer on and like condoning it because they're like, oh, you want to see it, huh? It must be fine. <laughs> but man, dude, the dark web, 
I do recommend that creepy pasta just because I never knew the dark web was a thing because I was still quite young when it was still a thing. So. <laughs> BRB, I'm gonna make an insta. I'm sorry, Blake Bam Bam. I'm putting you through the ringer for this. I'm so sorry. I don't have a Twitter or anything. Like, I don't, I don't really use Facebook either, so. <laughs> That's like my only means of com communication with you guys outside of YouTube. So maybe you'll like it. I'm a Texan, so I'm naturally mentally challenged. I don't doubt it. Obviously, it's <laughs> retro and be. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Obviously, it's different. Blah, blah, blah. You can still see it. Those in the real internet. You can still see those on the real internet? Yeah, but I think, like, it's pretty rare and, like, far and in between. You can't tell if they're real or not. This one was, like, people would timestamp it. Like, they would post a picture and then, like, put, like, you know, time, like, date and time so that you knew it was happening, like, right when you were watching or something. It's crazy. It's, like, the craziest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> I mean, that's Twitter now regarding the snuff films. Is it, Richard? Dude, I knew, like, Twitter was, like, big about, like, porn and stuff or something. But I didn't know. I know links to that too, RAS. I'm a little curious. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I would watch it and instantly regret it and just not feel good for a few days. <laughs> A good time for me is standing in the back of a truck driving through a field at 60 miles an hour with a shotgun shooting wild hogs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that sounds very Alabama. So you said you were from Texas, but that sure does sound very Alabama to me. Stay away from Twitter. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> okay, send it on Instagram DMs. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. I remember going to one of those message boards on TOR and people would literally share pictures of kids they had killed or kidnapped. Hog roast. <laughs> I sent my bit on Instagram. Alright, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Right this second. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta change my account. Derp, derp. Looking, looking. Uh, I cannot see where I have any messages, but let me, one request, okay. Joe Doe, hey Pillsbury, it's me, Blake, Blake Bam Bam, hey social media, all right. I'm looking it up on my phone right now. It's just going to be a dick pic. <laughs> Love the hair. Thanks, Alex Moore. It's green. It's very green. Does it make my eyes look green? My eyes are blue, but I kind of wish they were green. No, it's not. Stop. <laughs> Cody, what's up, my dude? Stop, Cody. <laughs> Check this out. There's a man who comes in once a week to our subway and gets... Oh, it's a part of... It's a clip of Cody's subway video so far. Yeah, hi. Can I just get one a uh, six-foot... <laughs> It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Cody wants a six foot or six inch foot long. <laughs> he wants a six inch foot long. <laughs> XMC been there. Great times. Hello. Vampires. Like, what is that, like, stupid, like, vampire dance I think I was doing last time it's like but you're supposed to have a cape but it's fine because I have the hair <sighs> my phone is making noises because I was stupid I hate that like autoplay feature on YouTube I'm like if I want to play another video I'll tell you I want to play another video <laughs> 
I'm still waiting for my Gooch pick. <laughs> Cody, are you are right about that? <laughs> my eyes be bright blue. Yeet yeet. Let's be honest, blue is the best color. Cody want a foot long tube steak sandwich. <laughs> Nasty peeps on here, and I think and a link to his OnlyFans. <laughs> How long is your hair? Well, Joseph, it's fake, but it goes down to like my butt. My real hair is like to here, and it's blonde, and then like my natural hair color at the top, like highlighted. There was that one time I fell out of the truck. I only didn't get mauled by a group of pigs because I had my revolver with me. That sounds absolutely horrifying. I think one of my biggest like actual fears, like actual fears is falling into a pigsty. Because pigs will fucking eat you. They'll just eat you. Like, how is that a thing? That's scary. <laughs> Tiny Raid. Oh! Thanks, Tiny. Thanks, Hannah. Estrella Corazon. Thank you, my man. My man. <gasps> That's cute. I never said that before. Instead of my man, it's like my man. Oh my god, I'm retarded. Please kill me. Retro Envy, and it was 2 a.m. pitch black. <laughs> that is horrifying. Like, all you hear is just pig sounds around you. <laughs> that sounds like a scary movie where, like, the serial killer wears a pig mask and it's just dark and you just hear pig sounds. <laughs> I would shit myself. <laughs> I would shit my casserole dish. <laughs> Did you sell the meat to the Duke? No. I didn't have room in my inventory. So now that I've sold some shit, I can totally go back and get the meat and sell it to the, and sell it to the Duke. Yeah, the Duke. We streaming tomorrow, fam a lot. Um, I know Cody streams on Saturdays and Hannah doesn't stream on Fridays, so neither of them will be streaming tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to go swimming tomorrow. I've been wanting to go swimming for so long. It's been so long. Big Tiny and her ma'am. <laughs> what is the link to Tiny's channel? Um, I don't have a link, but it's Tiny One Badger. Spelled all correctly with no spaces. Just Tiny One Badger. I had a crazy great uncle who would hog hump by jumping out of a tree with nothing but a knife and sticking it. What the heck? <laughs> Nick Sandman, how big were your great uncle's balls? How big were they? <laughs> 250 subscribes. Whoop whoop. Finally, finally, we got to 250, guys. I'm so glad. Thank you for being a part of that. If you've subscribed to me, I appreciate it. Don't sell the meat. Okay, I won't sell the meat. Does he eat it and, like, die or something? <laughs> and then you can never buy anything from him again? Swimming stream. <laughs> no, it's it's hot in Alabama. Um, super hot. And, like, it's been... I know that it's technically been, like, in the high 90s, but the feel, like, what they call the feel, has been, like, even hotter. So, <laughs> it's been in the hundreds. Hundreds, I guess 105-ish. <laughs> Wild hog meat is good as long as it's female. Males have an odor that penetrates the meat, making it edible. Yeah, like, isn't it kind of, um, I've heard about that. Isn't it kind of, like, like, pissy smelling? Like, it smells kind of like pee? That's what I've always heard. Sky is the limit for you, dear. Congrats on 250. Thanks! Hey, Hannah. How was your stream? Did you stream some more Mass Effect? No, you bring the meat to Duke. He cooks it and you get health upgrades. Oh, okay. Those old timers straight from the old country back in the day were insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had to be insane. I mean, like, with all the hardships they faced, how could you not be insane? Everything else would just be like baby shit from then on out. Everything is just easy. Pissy smelling. <laughs> kind of like me when I haven't showered in four days. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> or am I? <laughs> it's a hide Barbie in a toilet stream. <laughs> this is what her hair looked like. Swamp murder victim edition Barbie. <laughs> Male bore me is so gross. Very urine and irony. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard too. It's funny because actually, like, I feel like ground beef kind of has that too sometimes. And I wonder if, like, there's any correlation. Guys, I'm vegan. You're offending me. <laughs> oh, Richard. <laughs> are you really vegan though? Like, I, I know you're joking, but are you vegan? It's kind of interesting. Like, I knew a bunch of people that were vegan, and their food wasn't that bad. They actually learned how to, like, flavor things really well. Like, they usually had, like, a bunch of spices that I never really thought to use, and, like, the way they would cook was actually delicious. <laughs> it was talking about the creep show art drama. Yeah, Cody told me all about that at the gym. Uh, seems pretty ridiculous and silly. <laughs> it's cu it's cool. I've killed a few cucumbers in my day too. <laughs> offending or offending? According to me, there's no difference. <gasps> Better for Barbie being in the toilet than a casserole dish. Yeah. Like. We just swap it. It's like Barbie casserole and shit murder addiction. Shit murder edition. Toilet bowl. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just that was it wasn't even funny, and I just kept going. Why'd you guys let me just keep going? <laughs> yeah, but you can marinate and season it away in ground beef. Yeah, I made some spaghetti the other day, though, and it was just, it, it wasn't right. It wasn't good. And it was, like, the expensive ground beef that was, like, low fat, because that's what, if I don't do that for spaghetti, I get really bad gas. <laughs> so I always do low fat meat for that, for spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, Estrella, you're the one who told him about it? Yeah, he was saying he, like, watched a bunch of videos on it. And I'm like, how did you even find out about that? Like, someone had to have told you. But it was you. You told him. Never tried tofu. Tofu's okay. It's alright. It's not... There's better stuff. I'm telling you this. That made no sense. <laughs> what makes you special? When tofu is cooked right, it's delicious. Original content. The furts. <laughs> sushi is better than tofu. 100%, dude. I would eat sushi for every meal. And, like, I just don't get how people don't like sushi. Like, the first time I tried it, I thought it tasted like feet and smelled like feet. And I didn't like it. But, like, instantly the next time I was around sushi, I had this urge to try it. And ever since then, it's like, I would spend my entire life savings on sushi. Doing crazy stuff successfully is weird at changing your perspective on things. The ground, the ground beef farts, farts. <laughs> true, true, mix man, man. The ground beef farts are legit. Like, the fat that goes in ground beef, I don't know what it is. But it liquefies my innards like Bud Light. <laughs> sushi is the food of the gods. I agree. It's not chocolate. It's sushi. Every day, sushi day. Have you? Do you guys like? There's a food chain of restaurants called Rock and Roll Sushi, and if you ever get the chance to go there, it's like the best shit in the entire world, literally. Yes, Estrella, dude, have you ever tried those, um, 
Impossible Whoppers from Burger King. I pulled a trick on my dad and I told him that it was a real Whopper because I had gotten a real Whopper and a fake one, the Impossible Whopper. And I swapped the packagings and I told him I got an Impossible Whopper because I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to see if it was good. But I gave him the Impossible Whopper and he is a meat-eating southern man. Like this was not like something he would ever really try. And he ate it and did not say anything about it. And I was like, yeah, that Impossible Whopper tasted a lot like a normal Whopper. He was like, oh, weird, cool. And then I told him he ate the Impossible Whopper, and he could not believe me. Like, he couldn't believe me. <sighs> I eat vegan food, but I'll have the occasional chicken every now and then. That's fair. I'm not really a fan of most meats beyond, like, chicken and shrimp and fish. Like seafood like I mainly like seafood I only eat chicken because it's easy and cheap and then spaghetti because it's spaghetti it's got sentimental taste value pizza every day pizza sushi we'll settle on an alternative that benefits both of us John Morris pizza sushi Naruto style best I've gotten one sushi restaurant to make it is Naruto style onigiri, is that like the one that has like the rice paper? Because I really like the seafood better. Or the seafood. <laughs> I like the seaweed best. Give me a freaking fat ribeye. Hot damn, yes, Nick Sandman. Listen, I, I, I lied about the, I forgot that I also <laughs> like steak. So never mind. I'm not even close to someone. <laughs> I eat steak like once a once a week. It's the only other form of beef that I like besides like spaghetti only. And I eat like a steak every week, a giant one with a baked potato, and that's it. And that's just like ten out of ten for me with a one sauce. I don't care how well it's seasoned. I don't want to taste the meat. I want to taste a one sauce <laughs> with the meat. Rare has to be rare. <laughs> yeah, Estrella. I thought it was pretty good. I, I don't think he thought it was as funny as I did. Why wouldn't you try an Impossible Whopper Retro Envy? It tastes the exact same, like 100%. And the, and the specs or like the nutritional values are almost the same. Oh my god, Richard Wright? Like, whenever I see, like, people on movies feasting with, like, the whole pig face on the freaking... Or, like, even if I get a chicken wing that has, like, feathers on it. Like, you know, every now and then they don't pluck it very well and it has feathers on it. That just really grosses me out and just... It's gotta be a little bit attached, you know? You can't have that feeling of literally biting into an animal. It's gotta be, like, I'm biting into this meat that maybe was an animal. <laughs> Ah, oh, John Morris, I'm so sorry. That's that's really sad for you. I'm sorry. I tried to buy the Impossible Whopper that my wife bought and it was good, yeah. Sushi rice paper stuffed with salmon. Oh, it's wrapped with seaweed too. Cool, okay. I'd be cool with that then. Southern hat. Why ruin steak retro envy? Because A1 sauce is delicious and tastes like nothing else. It's just so good. And I love steak and I love the taste of steak, but A1 sauce is so good as well. <laughs> I've had fresh steamed, steamed crab after walking on a white sandy beach before. It was excellent. Only vacation I've ever been on. But it was worth it. Melted in my mouth, salty and tasty. Dylan Schmidt. I am obsessed with crab. Uh, have you ever had soft shell crabs? Um, someone, so where I'm from, seafood is what we eat because it's the cheapest because people actually go and get it out of the ocean. So it's like, it's cheaper than going to the grocery store and buying chicken when you can just go out and catch some shrimp or like do some clamming and get some clams or, you know, like raise soft shell crabs. So that's what happens. And soft shell crabs, 
I know someone who like raises them and we would get them every every season and I am obsessed with them. They're so good. I feel like if you love crab, you should try soft shell crab. I eat steak with A1 without even and without often. Sometimes I just like to have A1. <laughs> you thought he was gonna say I eat steak without A1, but really he was saying I eat A1 without the steak. <laughs> Ew, roasted rat? Are you serious, Richard R? Oh my god, I'm one of those people where I gotta try everything. I gotta try everything, but I don't know if I could do that. Like, out of curiosity, I might buy some and, like, smell it and, like, look at it or something, but, like, I don't think I could eat it. I just don't think I could. Cody drinks A1, like, water. <laughs> Lloyd. That's the impossible part. That the damn thing isn't a whole lot healthier than a regular Whopper. Well, when you think about it, a burger patty is literally the most healthy part of a burger, ironically. And so when you replace it with something else that's supposed to be similar, like, you're not changing what's in a burger more than you, like, can. Like, you're not changing the bun or, like, the fixings. All you're changing is that meat patty, which is already the healthiest part. So naturally, it can't really get that much healthier. Pour it on the tater. Yeah, I eat Heinz 57 on potatoes. That's my thing. Meat just is the same as A1. I mean, kind of. What's your favorite cut of steak? I, I really like ribeyes sometimes but if I'm really feeling like wanting it to be a little bit more chewy a little less fatty just kind of like leaner I like New York strip I'll keep it in mind next time I'm within 500 miles of an ocean yeah yeah there's pros and cons to being near the ocean I will eat Hellman's mayonnaise without anything. John Morris, Hellman's mayonnaise is like delicious. It is Jesus come. <laughs> yeah, Retro Envy, not a lot. Um, but actually a Whopper has about, I want to say a Whopper has like 25 grams of protein, so at least a decent bit. Wagyu Kobe beef type girl. Shit, I don't have that kind of money. A few years back, we took a boys trip to NYC and got our friend drunk enough to want to try it. Oh no. Make him try it next time. Get him drunk and make him try it. Tell him, tell me what it tastes like. I heard it tastes really wiry. Wasabi Brussels sprouts? Really? I've never, like, heard of that. That's so bizarre. <laughs> One day I'll try a nice Wagyu. Uh, Ballard was talking about that when I met him. He was talking about Wagyu beef. Beaches in my area are trash. <laughs> Mix Sandman. Yeah, like some places you go, like the beaches are just not a desirable place to hang out. <laughs> Rat burger. Chili beans or no beans. Not necessarily, Lloyd, because a lot of the times they have to add a lot of things that are unhealthy to make it taste like meat. So, it just depends. And a lot of the fat on a Whopper doesn't come from the meat patty. It comes from, like, the mayonnaise and the bun. Because, like, the bun is, like, butter in it and, like, the mayonnaise. It's, it's not what you think it is. It's not ever really the patty. The patty's beef. So if you, beef. <clears throat> I 
Actually, we do have Outback Steakhouses here, um, but we prefer Texas Roadhouse. Uh, it's pretty good. That's, you know, where everybody I know likes to go is Texas Roadhouse. Outback is more expensive, and I don't think it's as good. But I do love their pumpernickel bread. Vegetable burgers play mind trick on you. Alright guys, I am like 51 minutes over when I was planning to stream, but I just enjoyed talking with you guys and getting to know some of you a little bit better and I like doing the talking part of the stream a lot. Like I feel like I don't do it enough. Um but I'm gonna I'm gonna head off here and I'm gonna be streaming on Saturday. So I'll see you guys then. It overlaps with Cody's, but you know, I'll be on for a little bit after his stream, so if any of you guys want to pop in, I sent you a DM, Pillsbury. Okay, with those links? Yes, thank you. Um, I need more entertainment. I, I So, because I work from home, I usually am, like, listening to stuff or watching stuff while working because my mind is ADHD and it helps. <laughs> so, but yeah. Good night, Estrella. Good night, Josephine. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim SQ. Ugh, I know you work, you work overnight, right? Like... That's why you wanted to find someone who streams overnight. Retro MV, good night. Thank you. Nick Sandman. Outback is garbage. <laughs> I didn't really want to outright say that, but I agree. <laughs> John Morris, good night. Dylan Schmidt, Lloyd. Frank McCormick, good night, everybody. Thanks again to Frank McCormick and Richard and Cody and... McSandman for, for contributing to today's stream. Uh, I appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.